and if I send you a a, a, a video, literally yeah. the thing is controlled with like a, a PlayStation controller <laughs> yeah. or Xbox. No shit. I mean, it's an actual controller. No, I believe you. But I was, what, I'm, what I'm reading here on the side just is uh, a board or a British adventurer, <laughs> yeah, a French diver, there's... a Pakistani father and son, and the founder yeah. of the company that operates the tour. This sounds like every action movie that's done in the ocean. The fact that someone's genuinely in life referred to as an adventurer, that means he's called himself that. What do you do exactly? Well, I'm all around adventurer, I guess you could say. Well, Jack Vaughn is an adventurer. <laughs> when I, One of our when bosses. I went on this... I'm a swashbuckler by hey, trade. Yeah, I, Jack is a swashbuckler. <laughs> he has a sword. <laughs> Go ahead, they Jacob. were at first calling them all science experts, and when I went on the site like years ago when they started opening it up to the public, if you paid $250,000, you could pick what you wanted to be. Like You could be science officer Bobby. I'd like to be lighting engineer. Cameraman Jay. <laughs> I turn the lights on and off. Yeah. It was like space camp, except you were going to the Titanic. Wow. They're going to connect through text, but shit, I forgot my phone. That's funny. So they, they lost contact an hour. It takes two and a half hours to get to the Titanic because they basically, you basically just drop slowly. And an hour and a half down, they lost contact. So it can be anywhere in the water column. It's why so can't they just they Jacob? Why can't they just dive down and go take a look? Well, wait. There's, are they maybe? Like there's a lot of ships that can do this. No, I mean like a person. Scramble the very. I was going to say they lost contact, but is there a chance that they know they have four? They have forty hours of air left. Do you think they're like just doing their search and coming back up? Is that possible? Uh, they're searching. They could be. They could have surfaced, or they could be anywhere in the water column, or they could be at the bottom of the ocean near the. Titanic, when you, when you so say water it's column. Like trying to when you say, I'm sorry, it, Jacob. When you say water column, what is that? Anywhere, anywhere below the surface. At any, at any depth. No, no, of course, surface. of course. But I'm saying, is there any chance, so that they just lost contact, but they're just like, wow, fuck our communications things off. But you know, let's still finish what we're doing here. Like, is there a chance? There's no. probably a chance they're fine, and like they have 40 hours left. Like in 20 hours from now, is it crazy that they just come back up and go like, hey, that was awesome. Yeah, they're all naked. <laughs> yeah. hey, like, a, hey Bobby suggested we all have a big little orge yeah. and Bobby is a British adventurer and you go no I'm not dude I was just kidding but they all have that, that colored powder from Indian weddings all over them <laughs> <laughs> there's apparently seven uh, redundancies to, to, to make sure that this thing floats to the top if anything happens to the ship even if they lose control it's designed to float but nobody spotted them yet so, so it's, I think it, something is severely wrong. So you now apparently there, one guy said it's like finding somebody on Mars. It's so difficult. Or somebody at the I bottom mean, of the ocean. Christine, get yeah. it set up. We it's have not a, a lot of Jacob. We have our guest in the studio. I'm gonna uh, make sure. One I, of my favorites. I know. One of my one favorite of favorites. guests. Um, Christine's getting. I'm him so set glad up. he's back. Um, Christine, pick up the plugs, please, if you would. Please. We uh, we're talking about um, the submarine that went down to the yeah, Titanic that's in. missing is uh because my guess is his take is going to be and he is correct this is some white shit he's got a new special domino effect too available right now on YouTube uh, and you can see him with live dates coming up in Oklahoma Ontario California and Cleveland returning to the show the fucking hilarious Ali Sadiq everybody what's up dude what's going on my man you go to his website alisadiq.com to get all his tickets too. Um, this is your first time doing the show with Robert Kelly. Yes, it and is. Soda What's ran up, off. How are you? I'm doing well, sir. I, I just watched your clip this weekend, your Father's Day clip. Okay. About uh, how Father's Day is, what is it, 19th? 16th on the list. 16th or 19th, what is it? 19th. 19th on the li list, and then you you go, Arbor's Day is ahead of it, and you're like, I don't even know what the fuck Arbor's Day is. I don't even know what the fuck it is. I don't know what the fuck Arbor's Day is what either. What is Arbor's Day? Well, like Earth Day or something like that. It's like <laughs> trees, something. I love how I love how people want to interview me, and they always go back 11 years, <laughs> uh, eight years on me. No, he just watched. No, that like, just like, came he, up. he just happened to watch his I, Father's Day. This is yeah. the thing. I just I just drilled a bunch of people about oh so y'all posting the goddamn 11 year old clip but not posting my new special they're like oh my bad i'm like it, it comes up every year and it's like i've gotten more traction on that in this last week than i did on my special i'm like y'all fucking suck 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, you never like, know where it's gonna happen. Comedy Central just keep getting money off me. Then fuck me. Like, <laughs> I'm with a, I'm with Burt Kreischer on tour, and I mean, it's a tour built off a story he told 15 years 15 ago. 15 years ago, <laughs> like that. I, I I never knew I was gonna be in that space. It's the Father's Day joke. It's Mexican got on boots. I'm like, you yeah, know, y'all yeah. do know I got a bunch of new shit, right? That y'all can post. <laughs> <laughs> like, my friend just came to me. Hey, man, I just saw your Father's Day skit. I say, you were there when I did it. <laughs> we He's were like, younger. But you got to, I mean, here's the thing. It is Father's Day. If it was Christmas and I brought it up, you have a case. It's fucking Father's Day. So that clip is going to come out. You know what I mean? It's, I like, it comes out. You, get no ownership, you have no ownership over that one. I have one. no oh, that's ownership. It's over. Comedy Central. Well, you know what they do? So is, I they, know. That's why we're independent. Yeah. I try not to talk about them at all. <laughs> I, went, I went independent, too, because of the same reason. Yeah. No, I, I they wouldn't take my special. Listen, <laughs> no, I posted a clip, right? Yeah. Um, like, say, watch this. If I would have posted that on my page, yeah. they would have flagged me. They flag you. Yeah. It's insane. But then everybody else get posted, and it's nothing. But I get flagged for oh, it because so like it's, it's copyright. Yeah, it's copyright. So that's what made me go independent um, a couple of years back because I did that and they and they fucking flagged me. I was, yeah, it's kind of more. It's more, more expensive, fun. but it's kind of it was really fun. I did my own this last one. I too, know. I, I reposted it. Yeah, B T used it, to do that too, though. B T if uh, on holidays. Or, I don't know if you remember they had uh, the same joke. Oh man! So man. they posted like six comics all with the same fucking with the same exact joke. joke. Same fucking joke. Well, just six uh, different dude, one, comics. One of my favorite moments ever. Was uh, when you when, met me. When, when I met you. <laughs> when I joined the bonfire. You joined the bonfire. Oh man, thanks, bro. Um, I just joined. It's like a new thing. He's he's still a little whipped up about it. When I did uh <laughs> when I did BET's one mic stand, that's when Kev Kevin Hart took over. Yes. But it was, it was. They told me it wasn't Comic View because I was like, I don't want to do Comic View again. And they were like, it's not Comic View. It's one mic stand. And Kev's host. And I, so I was like, ah oh, man, that's pretty. You know. And Kev even was like, you know, we talked enough then where he was like. Dude, come do it, man. It's going to be great. And I was like, okay. He's like, it's not Comic View, which is hilarious. When you get the contract, it's called Comic View Presents One Mic Stand. So it was Comic View. Exactly. But they it. were paying right at that point and treating you right. They obviously overdid it. They like picked us up and everyone had their own limo. And like they put us up at like a Studio City something. It was all pretty nice yep. as far as that goes. But we went in the dressing room before the show. He gave a pep. Bob Sumner gave a pep talk. That was so funny that every it was like uh, the fucking what's the Al Pacino in uh, any given Sunday? Any given Sunday. He was like, "Yo, they're saying black comedy's getting hacky. They're saying everyone's doing the same shit." He goes, and I told him like, "One Mike Stan's about to be different. We got Kevin Hart uh, involved on this," and uh, he's like, "And we're gonna do something different." He goes, "Ain't gonna be no fucking stools and shit out there. There ain't gonna be no putting in crazy fake teeth and." And doing like the accent. Ain't gonna be people doing slave voices out there. We're gonna show them that black comedy is here. Just and then all these comics going like, yeah. And then everybody went out there and fucked stools. And I mean, everyone did almost everything he said. Did the exact same thing he said on stage. They still had to. They're like, ah, oh, well, I do have to do my teeth bit because I brought I, the teeth. I, I, I had teeth bit when I first started. It was, did you have a fake teeth bit? I had a lot um, of people did. When I first started, I had buck teeth, and I had to travel with them. <laughs> It was the worst, and I forgot them at one gig when I did Maine. I had, my, I had a joke. I put the buck teeth in. I went, I'm a goofy vampire. Duh. <laughs> I used to get in the underwear. You know I was. What'd you say? I used no, to get in the underwear on stage. I what? You know I was at that pep talk. No, really? Yeah, because this is the- this, It'd be funny I'll, if he gave it. I've always <laughs> talked about how fucking horrible one mic stand is. This was, the, <laughs> this was the only show that every comic was calling each other. Talking about, did you air? <laughs> and then they was like, it was like, no, it was like, all right, cool. <laughs> didn't nobody want to air. I was so, I was so happy I didn't fucking air. The first round, they said the audience was all uh, paid, paid audience. So they were just terrible. And they go, we got to reshoot the whole thing. And then they just brought in a paid audience. They just they did it again. <laughs> and it was, I did it. It was uh, unmemorable to say the least. Ray, uh, oh, what's his name? Lipinski, not Ray Lipinski, is that right? Who was the person that got... They threw a fucking a high heel shoe at him and a woman tried to attack him on stage. 
He was one of the white guys that would be in the black circle. I'm, I'm, why am I? You know how bad you have to suck. I like him a lot. Ray Lepowski. You know how bad you have to suck. Not um. What was this guy's name? I I was there, and it was just fucking. It, it was is Ray crazy. Lepowski. It is. It, yeah, it was crazy. One mic stand was so horrible that nobody wanted to air, and <laughs> it was because the audience was paid, and it was like it was ridiculous. Yeah, and I remember that. Good. I remember that that, that speech and. So the crazy thing about the speech and the crazy thing about the, the, green, the green room. So we were waiting on each other to come back in the green room so we could tell you how good you did because the <laughs> audience wasn't giving you shit. <laughs> it's like the audience was fucking horrible. And that, like, it, it was terrible. You were waiting. It was a bad production. It, it was a do you bad know, Do you know how bad you have to be to throw you... To hate the comic that much, where you're gonna walk home with one shoe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that woman, Ray Lepowski. That's a, that's a fucking decision. She, she tried to buy a backup shoe. She tried to attack him. She, tried, she, she had shoes in her purse. Stage. She had throwing shoes. She had throwing shoes. <laughs> she had like, blue shoes. It's, it's the thing. Like I've always wondered, um, how would do when women throw their panties at you on stage? Do they take them off, or is it like a spare pair that they have? I think the hopes they take them off, I, I guess. But like bringing the spare pair. But I will tell you that when I was on stage at that uh, heavy metal festival I emceed one year, uh, I made a joke about people throwing bra. It doesn't really happen to comedians, and then I got hit with a large bra from a large woman, and it one hurt when it hit me. That underwire was like a fucking rebar. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> Did that thing hit me so hard? And also, getting hit, but made contact with, with something that was thrown from off stage is jar. It's like really like, it's hard to be funny right through it. For a second, you gotta be like, "Yo, that was fucking <laughs> scary." Like, it could have been anything—a rock. Did you see uh, what's her name? Uh, BB Rexa. Is that her name? Did you see that video? Someone pegged her in the head with a phone from like the third row oh, of Jesus. a concert. Bring that up. That shit. Did hurt. you see that? No, no, I didn't see it, but I know it hurt. <laughs> yeah. I know damn well it hurt. You remember the time Billy Burr got hit with a donut? <laughs> no. <laughs> remember when co comics, when they first opened in New York, it was they like blew it out. It was like the fanciest comedy club since Caroline. Too much. And they spent way too money, much money, and they had these donuts, these fancy fucking donuts. And Burr was on stage. Uh, eating it and some lady got so mad he, he said something you just see a donut fly on the stage they were serving donuts off. you see the powdered oh, sugar yeah. just bounce off his shirt <laughs> fancy donut yeah that comic that comedy club they built an immediate like three camera shoot like high def cameras like the state most state of the art thing started paying comics like 20 grand more than their quote at like Caroline's yeah. just to oh, get them over there and then they that. just got tanked yeah and it was more than They that. were like doubling quotes. They spent $12 million turning the place from a grocery store to this state-of-the-art club, and it closed after four years. It was oh, crazy. I mean, they, I, they they paid me uh, $15,000 for a weekend. And the, spot, the spots would be a couple hundred bucks on yeah. like weekends. It was yeah. crazy. It was like, out, it, it was outlandish. They just what wanted people to go there and like come through, but the thing was, comics still aren't going to like just hang at like a place, you know what I mean? Like, that's an end-of-the-night thing, so... Just no one really gave a shit about it at all. It didn't become like a place where people like sought out to go. The donuts were good though. The donuts were real good. All the food was good. Food game was over. It was overly good. You didn't need it to be that good. If they were doing girl? that in L.A., comics would be staying. <laughs> in the, in the, oh, <laughs> they would be living. They all go home at eight o'clock anyway. <laughs> they, it's it's weird. It seemed like they do. L.A. Yeah, L I, uh, I, I don't know if it's like that so much. I've been in, hung at the comedy store late for a while now, but when I first used to go there, I used to love it because I'd be in New York and Chappelle would, it was a time where he was kind of coming in a lot mm -hmm. years and years ago, and he was like bumping, doing those like seven hour sets. Mm -hmm. And I was at the Laugh Factory one of the, my first times out in LA, and he came in, and I was like still six more comics away, but the other five comics left because they were like, Chappelle's on, dude, we're getting out of here. And I was like, if I stay, if he does get off like in a reasonable time, could I still go on? And they were like, yeah. And he did like an hour, and it was like the crowd was just hyped. It was great. They let me do like 45 minutes on that show. Because all the comics were like, fuck this. I mean, I went on at like 10 p.m. It wasn't crazy late. I used to like leave my house here at like 10 o'clock to go do shows. Yeah. I got bumped in L.A. by everybody. <laughs> Literally one night. What was, was your most hurtful one? I was at the improv. I got bumped by every. Famous comic you could imagine that came in. Yeah, which one hurts them? I like Dak Shepard bummed me out. Dane Cook. <laughs> I got bumped by Dak Shepard. I don't even know the stand-up comedy. And they go, "Oh, he's going on." Uh -huh. 
I got, I got bumped. Tom by, Arnold was a close I, second. Oh, Tom. I actually yelled at Tom Arnold. <laughs> I yelled at Tom. He had his show at the Laugh Factory where he would host. Yeah. And there's, you know, 10 people there. And he's rambling, just rambling on and on, whatever. And he's supposed to bring me up half hour late. I went to Greenblatt's next door and got soup. <laughs> That's how late this fucker was. So I'm eating my soup and they, this, run, this lady girl runs over. She goes, he's bringing you up. He's bringing you up. And I go, but I'm eating my soup. But he's bringing you up. Can you please? So I, I, I left, left my soup. I went over there. He goes, all right, you guys, this guy, he's, uh, he's from Boston. Uh, anyways, uh, and then he went into another story. 20 minutes later, I sat there seething. 20 minutes later, no joke, 20 minutes later. He goes, all right, all right, let's give it up for this guy, Robert Kelly. Just brings me up. Let's give it up for this guy. And I went on stage. I go, you're a fucking, in my life, has it the more insulting thing ever done? He goes, it wasn't that bad. I go, fuck you, Tom. It was bad. I got soup. I have soup in the other in the green blots waiting for me. Wasn't that bad. Oh, buddy. You know, it's funny. You were almost going to catch the blame, Bobby, for something that wasn't you. Dan leaving? No. Oh. Not Dan leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Tammy Pascatelli this weekend on the Burke Kreischer tour. What? I was saying how like you're on the show now. Yeah. And she was like, oh, I love Bobby. She goes, you know, one time, and I could tell it was a thing where I was like, maybe she doesn't oh, like buddy. like you very much because it seemed like a pleasant thing at first. But she goes, Bobby, one time I was, I used to be the house MC at the Cleveland Improv and Bobby came through one time and when he was, uh, he gave me his credits on a laminated like index card and that she goes, and she <laughs> she couldn't, bring, she wasn't allowed to bring paper on stage. The, the owner didn't like that. So she uh, went out there and tried to remember what she could, and afterwards that you went over and scolded her on, like, did you ever do these credits? Have you ever done these credits? Because these credits are my credits, and I worked for them. That's why they're credits, and you read all of them and ran her down. And I was like, oh, wow, that's crazy. Well, that's not Bobby anymore, so it'll be funny to bring that up. It wasn't you. No, of course not. It was Bobby Collins, though. Yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> I'll sandbag him, I guess. I know, who, I know exactly who it was. I knew First of all, I don't. I'm laminate. not that emotional about my intro. I really am not. <laughs> I thought like, that was Rob she, Snyder. She <laughs> First of all, I, I've never laminated anything. Of course, no, when she said it was you, I was like, "That's definitely not you at all." Now, but I was like, no. "But that might have been a funny story from your past." I don't even write my jokes down on a piece of paper that well before my own show. I've always said, unless you're saying from Ace Ventura's Pet Detective and your Jim Carrey coming out, they, the credit means nothing. So I'm like, just say whatever you feel, man. No. Hit one of the things, I, none I, of them, all of them. I say this. One of them. I don't. I, I wouldn't like. I wouldn't be a big fan of like. Hey, this next guy's Jay Okerson. I'm like, all right. I mean, like, I say get that. him a little hyped. Or, I or say one this. One Mike stand. Oh, he's <laughs> on one Mike stand. He's like, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> I, I say. Just to be Kevin I say, Hart. do my credits. Do this is what you can say. This, this, and this. But if you forget any of it, I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. I don't. I take all the pre dude. I've been on this. I've been that. I'm that. If you say that, that's great. If you fuck it up, I don't care. Just bring me up. I'm, I'm I just hate when they bring me up excited. Like when they're like, are you guys ready? Like you're a wrestler. Yeah, like it's like, wrestler. dude, chill the fuck out. I'm, There's I'm, six people in the crowd. I'm, I guess I'm a little different. I, I've never been, backstory, I've never been bumped in L.A. Why? Because I never go up. <laughs> wow. Can't be I mean, bumped I, if you're not on anyway. Never, I, I've never had a desire to go up in LA, like never. I think you would do great there, <laughs> but I will say in LA proper, particularly, uh, it's not. I like California a lot. Yeah, uh, not L Sacra not Sacramento, even Ontario, S San the, Diego, it, San Diego. I love La Jolla, all that. LA, it's fi five, and they're also only like ten minute sets usually out there and shit. But mm -hmm. I feel like it's five minutes before they they stop going. Like, what the hell is he doing? Like, like they don't even know they don't know what's happening. Yeah. Because I don't know. I just don't have like. And you sit down too. It's a similar like. Hey, what do we got going on here? And they're like, just fucking say the jokes. Like they're so frazzled. <laughs> they're just actors. They're just all actors and wait. It's, the last it's time weird. I the last five times I went to L.A. I didn't go on stage. I have yeah, no. I have no desire to get stage time either and like you want to go up i'm like no nah, i'm good i'd rather just go next door and smoke a cigar hey, at v cuts let the kid that's been coming here for six months that you haven't let go up let him go up yeah because i don't i don't need your stage time i don't need another picture i've <laughs> never done chocolate sundays i've never had a desire to it 
all of that's those. A factor, right? <clears throat> yeah, that's that laugh ones. factor. I, I headlined the improv, and I never forget coming there. And the guy named Jamie was over it at the time. He said, "Well, how much time are you gonna do?" I said, "An hour." He's like, "Oh no, Head, headliners don't do hours. They do like twenty minutes." I was like, "Well, y'all better figure something out because I'm <laughs> doing an hour." And, <laughs> and he's like, "They're not gonna stay." I'm like, "Whatever you think, you know." They, yeah. they don't so have to go. stay. Yeah, I'm go. doing an hour. Where are they going to go? I did an hour. I remember Jay Phillips was coming, was doing the next show after me. And he's like, hey, man, all these people stayed. I'm like, yeah, he told me that they weren't. <laughs> and then, but, you know, I'm like, man, what type of damn headliner does 20 minutes? Will you take that on the road at? Dude, Patrice used to, at the comic strip, he used to get so mad if Lisa Lampanelli was on the shows with him. Because he didn't like the way she did whatever, you know, her like uh, her thing. So like when he was on, he would do like extra long at the end. It's the end of the show, but he would stay long. And, you know, so weird. My ex-wife like loved it. Cause I'd be there too. So I'm like, everyone's like, let's just go watch Patrice. It's great. But some staff didn't like Patrice, you know, and they just wanted to go home and they'd get uh, super mad at him. But he used to tell him he'd go to this graduate. they go, hey, Patrice tonight, you know, come on. Maybe don't go so long on the late show. <laughs> you just get the schedule and be like, I'll say it again. If Lee Slampanelli goes here and he just starts circling it with pencil really big, <laughs> then I'm going to do an hour here. <laughs> and he really would just go until they left. Like they'd, they'd start trickling out and then eventually be like, all right, later, whatever. I, yeah. used, to, I used to have to light Godfrey's money on fire at the cellar. <laughs> I'm not even <laughs> to get him off stage. Three thirty in the morning, and I'm like every all the wait staff are like sitting, like falling asleep on the stairs. You're hosting, and I'm hosting, and I just take his money and put a flame to it, and he'd finally go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. Yo, yo, by the way, special was dynamite. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you for. Oh, thank sorry. you so much. I think talking about my special that just came out too. I didn't know, dude. I mean. Yeah, it's Killbox. Louis C.K. directed it. It's on his website. Independent. Effect too. We're independent. independent. <laughs> I'm independent. You know what I mean? I mean, whatever. I mean, Dog Belly, fucking awesome. But thanks. <laughs> thanks for throwing that everybody. If you guys are listening, you can't see. Visually, he looked at, he pointed at both of us at the same time. Was awesome. uh, great special, fellas. <laughs> great special. He didn't say fellas, but he was about to. I cut him off. Sorry, brother. <laughs> fellas was coming off. Fellas um, was definitely coming. We should take a break and then come back because we, uh, do we have reads today? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Um, we should take a, <laughs> we'll take a break and come back because I want to uh, Ollie uh, Jacob is on yes. camera over there and uh, we were talking he was giving us the real lowdown about what's going on with the Titanic people <laughs> who are gone missing under what, only 40 hours of air did left. you hear about that they, a submarine oh. independent submarine went down to the Titanic with just regular people who paid a quarter of a million each to go down and the thing was actually controlled by an Xbox remote and the thing's gone missing. And surprise, they have, surprise. They have, they, they have 40 hours of air left. <laughs> so it's not even like we can say... We, it's not even they like we can't can, come up. They just can't come up. We don't know where they are. No one knows where but they're Jacob, at. Jacob is an expert at it, and we, we don't know where they are. So just push up on the controller. Yeah, like. I'm arguing they might just be fine and just finishing their trip. Push B, push B or X yeah. and then start going up. Wow. <laughs> At some point down there, if I was on a video game controller, I would do. If we were, if it was all failing, I would do up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start. I'd be like, I don't. It's, all else fails. Give it a whip. We're hanging out with Ali Sadiq, everybody. Domino Effect Two available right now on YouTube. Always fucking hilarious. And uh, we'll be right back with him on the phone for. Now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Robert Kelly. This is going to be a hot one today. So much to talk about. There's so much to talk about, and it's, I mean, the energy in the room is... It's good. It's electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie, woogie. We have, a, <laughs> we have a, I mean, we have, we have the... Uh, the guest of guests on the bonfire. I mean, the, he's not even a guest, he's the bonfire. In the bonfire verse. Nah. Me? He, here he is. <laughs> he was the bond of bonfire. We, we have, he's the bond. You were the fire. 
and I'm the one that's going to put and it that's out. That's why now it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I got my. Bobby's here to step all <laughs> over. <laughs> Fire's dangerous, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You're going to burn down a forest. I'm going to change it to the Bond Bond. Oh, you got yeah. a Not Dan shirt? <laughs> yeah, you got a Not Dan shirt on, so dude. So great. I have my Not Dan shirt on. <laughs> I, walked up and I walked up and that was the first thing he showed me. That's great. Not Dan. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, this is what's up. What's up, dude? You, what's up, guys? in the motherfucking you, house. We had uh, so much to talk about. Me and Bobby really shared. Dude, this was... We trauma bonded last night, but we were in the trauma. We were in the trauma, and you, you changed the course of my kid's life, I think, last night. I love it. I, yeah. I don't love Where'd it. Where'd you guys go? <sighs> we went to go see The Cure at Madison Square Garden. Christine smiling, everyone. Oh. <laughs> she Jay is, she Jay is, Christine Jay barely miserable. enjoyed it. Um, I didn't make Christine miserable during though. the band. No, no, no. I'm it. saying she was. You looked miserable. No, I was, was a great, great sport through it all. I sat there. I tried to have a good time. I, you know, I stood up for the songs that uh, a bunch of songs until did I couldn't you, anymore. Did you pop on any of them? Sure. Burn the song from the Crow. Crow. Yeah. Good tune. Um, Lullaby. Well, it was. It's just funny. I just kept going. The Spider Man. <laughs> you, oh, you were doing that all. <laughs> Damn. Were there any that Damn. got you? Yeah. Yeah, the last one when I got to leave. <laughs> I hated it. I hated it. Yeah, that is Dude, the Bobby, worst. Bobby, the best face I saw on Bobby when I would look back four rows to him was him just going like, mm. it, was, it was a real like the, okay, how many more? And when, me and Bobby's face and text to each other, at one point, he, he did. So you guys 50, weren't sitting next to each he other. He did 15 songs, and then he came out and he goes, it was an encore, by the way. When he came out for his first encore, he goes, "Oh, we're about halfway through the show now." We're like, no, oh, come on, dude. Were you, and you guys weren't. Come sitting, on, <laughs> Bobby's face is so sad. You weren't sitting next to each other. No, we, me and Bobby. Thing, me too. and Bobby lapped the arena at one point <laughs> to go get earplugs for Max. <laughs> It was just to do something. So you guys are having a miserable time. Dude, I, what are, what yeah, are was We were laughing through the thing. We were laughing, but it was it was sad. I mean, it went from it opened up. Just sad. What's the cure? What do you well, think you were well, going to get? Well, dude, I, you need a cure for, for the cure. The opening band, <laughs> by the way, the opening have... band, by the way, was a Scottish well, Cure, and they were called the uh, the Twilight Sad. No, they weren't. Dude. And they just performed for a just packed sat... house of sitting people, getting through them to go hear the same exact songs again. It in was, the dark, it, it was, it was could, the cure. They were in the dark. Was it just uh, sad Scottish rock before dude, The Cure? Yeah, it, it That's was, exactly what it was. It was Scottish Cure. They're the same exact and music. And because of his accent and the lead singer of The Cure, he's from Manchester, you can't understand a word they fucking no, say to you. It, it's just this. It's like, oh, it's just, it's just, it's No, no, he's talking about when he taught his in-between songs. Oh, really? like, the in-between once in a while when he'd go, I've, I want to kill myself every day. It's hard for me to pick myself up out of bed. Well, the, uh, this is what the show's missing. <laughs> I, <laughs> I want to end it all right Bobby, now. do that Scottish guy? <laughs> It can only be one. Okay. I want to get you know, my name in the golden pages. Hey, I went to the Cure concert that's last why, night. Every, that's day why, you, every day you re-earn that chair again. <laughs> Guys, and that's why I'm coming by today. Dude. I'm coming by today to let you know about a little thing that I've been working on called Dan's Voice Academy. <laughs> We're launching this bad boy July 1st. Sign me up! Sign me I'm up! Gonna, I, got, I got guest speakers, Frank Caliendo. <laughs> Michael Winslow, is there is a contract out. We have not heard oh, back. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Jim McClure is going to pay for it. <laughs> well, funny you bring up Jim McClure. He was an early investor. <laughs> we saw this thing on the ground level, and we've been building we'll up. Get your family discount on that. <laughs> I will teach you how to learn how to do it, Rodney Dangerfield. Buddy, they yeah, I'll do some, but, yeah. <laughs> Dude, he, first of all, he looks like uh, he looks like if Ron Jeremy was the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's bad. I'm sorry, but it's the thought of him going. Do you want to know how I got this bowler? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to know? Do you want to know why, why your pussy makes me so hard? He's, he's, he goes, he's bad, dude. He has. People he, think my penis is big, but it's only really two inches. Two he? inches from the floor. <laughs> <laughs> He looks, looks like security. Cr he's also he knows he's a fat ugly clown, mm -hmm. so he stays off camera until he's right on top of it. But there's no stage show. There's no production it's, whatsoever. They have two 
90 inch plasmas hanging from <laughs> the not, ceiling. He's not wrong. And, They're and, so small. And then they have stock fucking like iPhone footage <laughs> behind them. Like just raindrops and then just a pretty black girl at the beach. He's sad, dude. Yeah. He doesn't ever have time to think about a stage show. Him popping up on that though, I'm not gonna lie, the quality is SD on the on the screen. <laughs> If, if I'm looking at you, Jay, mm-hmm. and you were to tell me what's on the screen, I would honestly say Leatherface. Can I? It's crazy. Yeah, I would honestly yeah. say Texas. Yeah, it's Texas right before he closes the uh, the basement door. <laughs> yeah, or when they get away and he's just holding a chainsaw on stage, <laughs> just angrily. Damn, Something how long special. was the show? Well, front Seven, to back. 17 hours. <laughs> I believe it was Damn. 17 hours. We we were in we were in the room. Mm-hmm. Uh, three hours and forty five minutes. I actually Jeez. went in and got French fries and a hamburger, and I left. They had breakfast, serving breakfast. <laughs> that is so <laughs> fucking ta- long, Danny. You don't even understand. Not I don't want to go to this. <laughs> I don't want to go. He didn't want to go. Lou, turn my mic up. I need some. I more don't heat. want to go to. I don't listen to my voice. Well, yeah. you said I don't. I didn't want to be there. I begged Jay, please, and he said we're gonna have fun. We Ari's did. coming. Sal's going um josh christine bring matt every we're gonna have fun first of all i got a phone call this morning from joe de rosa and he was he called me early which is usually a bad thing with joe yeah that means he's stewing on no, he was going to say how much that sucked well he called me up and he, i go he go i go hey joe what's up because i know what's coming and he goes hey buddy how are you i'm just calling to say hi and i went really oh cool hi and then i heard hey 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 <laughs> and they were stupid Keith Robinson on the phone with so me. Funny. And they were in a skybox with tater tots and all kinds of snacky poos. Why were they up there? Because they were with Sal. Oh, yeah. Damn. I was next to two lesbians, a middle aged lesbian. Keith went to the cure? Not Keith. Keith can't go anywhere. Who? He, it was him trashing me for going to the cure. Oh. Him and DeRosa. Oh, gotcha. Because we were sitting in the sitting in the Joe was in no, the box. He was in the box with Ari and Aziz and Yep, yep. And they had tater tots and snacks and drinks and uh it was a wonderful time. Yeah. And and I You're was just up, sitting next to a weeping lesbian. I was next to a weeping lesbian and I be, I'm I'm pretty sure it was two aliens. Me and Christina. <laughs> two two bald guys with hats <laughs> that they stole off the human. Zip zap, zip zap, the thing that spi- Dude, that powers our spaceship is sadness. Damn. They were there. They didn't stand up the yeah. whole show. They would look at each other and then look back at the show Dude, and then they were gone. Now it makes sense that uh, he looks the lead singer of the cure looks like you got any sugar <laughs> he, he really does. the bug yeah, like goes, the bug you got any sadness <laughs> I had a cat uh, it means the world to me uh, I had a girlfriend she broke up with me I'm pretty bummed about it it is what the show's missing <laughs> can, you, can you just lay some shit down once a week dude this it, it, it was mind numbingly bad three hours and 45 minutes of sa- is not of sadness, of fucking pure fucking sadness. The Twilight sad first. I mean, dude. Six different ways of in my heart. Every hey, song. everyone, I guess, you know, we shut down selling sodas. Every They're song. bad for you. We just ran out of extra large t-shirts. Can I tell you how you like? Let me tell you how boring their show is and how <laughs> shitty their music is. <laughs> he sounded perfect. Great. Really? Fantastic. He sounded perfect. Real perfect. He sounded, sounded like, like the album. Sounded, <laughs> the album. Sounded like, he sounded. Let's maybe freeze that. He sounded like the creep that he is on the album. <laughs> yeah. so, okay? Damn, dude. I like Bobby left an enemy. He hit all the notes. <laughs> Bobby left an enemy. Of, what's his name? Robert <laughs> Smith. Robert dude, Smith. he hit all the notes. Mm-hmm. He hit the highs high. He mm-hmm. everything he was supposed to do. He didn't bullshit any song. Yeah. And I, it's still. They <laughs> I mean, dude, it sounded like it sounded like you guys sat through. Here's what they did. Like a presentation. Also about also at about an additional, with no exaggeration, three to four minute intro on every song he, of just instrumental that you can't understand a word. His Manchester accent, his Guy Ritchie shitty accent. Here's the thing too. They held us hostage. Hostage. How? They did a double. A fucking double encore. Two encores. Until they got to the last... Seven songs and nine songs are the encores. Dude, they did Wait, the... Wait, la- excuse me? 
Seven song encore, encore one. That's that's, nine. nine Yo, dude, that's a troll. That's not. (laughs) You don't do a nine song double fucking encore. The second half of the show is encore. Dude, that's that's crazy. This is how I know this guy's a dickhead. He's an asshole and he knows that we were (laughs) fucking. He was just punishing us. On the last on the last one, he said Bobby saying that you guys are just getting punished. Because he made a he made a joke. This is fucking punishing you. He made a joke and it was it was funny, but he I know he knows what he was doing to all of us yeah because he went okay this is a, a new song a new song he's playing a new song <laughs> on the second, the uh, and then he goes like this it's called uh it's called blood red sadness of death or something like that <laughs> and we all went what the fuck and he went i'm just joking <laughs> and he went into a he went into like the song but like uh, it can't all be sad then he was kidding and then he went into his hit song what the fuck friday. song was it? oh no friday he started it's he started no he started doing he goes love. he goes the new song called tuesday's gray <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, it's, and he kept going. It gets the line from the song. He goes Tuesday. He, he was yeah, just giving yeah, a little whatever. quirky setup for it. Here's and he goes, the oh, problem so, I had. Oh, it, so do you have any sugar? <laughs> in the first encore. <laughs> in the first encore, the second or first song he did in the encore. No, it is. It was the first song in the encore. Um, do you remember? So, Bobby, we have to go through a lot of these musicians with you on the show. But Lisa Gale, God damn, is a, dude, is a crazy. Uh, <sighs> She was a crazy housewife whose husband at one point to bring her up, husband oh had my money. God, Bobby, the hits that you get to learn, I want to. I get to watch them through your eyes, dude. If I have to go to another one of these, no, things, no, 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 these no, are no. I'll quit. I'll no, no, quit. No, no, no. These are all you'll, quit. you'll see Call the point her. I'm making in hey, a moment. This is a this is a rich lady whose husband pays for her music videos. No. <laughs> Just fine. Do, 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 do. I'd rather went to this last night. Yeah, honestly, I would have gone with you. <laughs> I would have gone to see Lisa Gale. I don't I know w- about Kira. I would, I'd, I'd learn line dancing for this show. That's I would when it. my three second rule comes into play. What is it, you old hot? <laughs> you can cold, only right? look for three seconds, then look away. Hey, I'm into this. What? It's two, just my three, three second four. rule. The kind of rules you had in school. It's just a three second rule. It's my three second rule. Everybody's smiling in the room right now. Yeah. Everybody's smiling. They are. Opposite and also, of Robert Christine, Smith. Robert Pop- Smith, get your shit together. Call up Lisa Gale, find out what the secret sauce is, and put it in. Pop on, pop on coffee and tea so we get to taste it. Oh, and then I'm going to play. Be with me? And then I'm going to play the cure. Me? Uh, connection I have here. <laughs> okay. oh. Man, I that mean, we get a taste of Lisa Gale. She's I, a she's batshit crazy. Everybody should go see the Cure and then go see her, and that will make you like this person. No, I, for sure. She I'm in love with her. She cleansed the palate, and I love her her fucking uh, necklace too from Arizona. All of it, dude. It's such mom jewelry. To me, this is the hit. Is this coffee and tea or be yeah. with me? It's uh, fucking jam, dude. Tea. I like both of those. Yeah, yeah dude, well, coffee, tea, or you get this piece of ace. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the fuck turquoise, the turquoise dude. The turquoise warrior. I like the turquoise. <laughs> Lisa Ale, the turquoise minx. Luke, can you please give her a respectful volume, please? Yeah. Drink it in, Bobby. It doesn't matter what, what you, you do. So You've got my heart pounding. I want to. We gotta watch, Bobby. Also. Her macho man she glasses. She's crazy. She's wearing macho man glasses. <laughs> All her mom clothes. I'm, I'm, I'm nothing wrong with any of this so far. Look at this right here. Look at this hold. <laughs> That's one of the best things ever. She holds this face. Got me going. <laughs> Coffee or tea or be with me. Oh, yeah. No matter what you choose. It's just the I love this. <laughs> they just hold these. Pictures. Do that right there. The, that. The That's hands the on the fig- the hand on the thighs. Is her I love. Move. She doesn't know to do it with her mouth after yeah. she's done singing in between. She's, she says it. <laughs> she looks like the. Do you remember in Insidious Part Three when they found that it was a guy dressed like a woman? <laughs> no. That's what she looks like. Dawn has that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just FYI. <laughs> she got a Lisa Gale. <laughs> she's got a Lisa Gale. <laughs> so now, Bobby, to yes. fill you in now. So Lisa Gale has a song. Uh, I guess when she was younger, she had a child pass away. Now, that's not funny. Unfortunately, Yet. the song she wrote about it yeah. is. 
because she's not a good musician, and they really go on the nose with it. And one of the lines is, she goes, why did my child have to die? It's crazy. Christine, please. How'd the child die? <laughs> this is sad. I don't, Iraq, I, I, Iraq I, I, War. But, but I mean, the song is written, it's like it was written by uh, by <laughs> AI, because she's like, remember right in the beginning, she's like, I brought you home from the hospital, and then a tragedy happened. I, I want her to write a song for Max that I lost Max to a Cure concert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now my son's all sad. Oh. If you recall, they also do in this video, they do the little boy on a swing, and then he He's gone. disappears while he's swinging. Really makes you think. She... She throws it all out there. <laughs> the point I will make about this... She looks like she's in the fabulous Freebirds. That bombed. Can but. you put... No, it didn't. I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> but it does. She I had one, Is it because I had you one. saw Zach's post today? About a, uh, I saw Zach Amigo posted for Father's Day. Oh, Michael about Michael P.S.A. P. Yeah, I was just saying because of her... Yeah, that was... She does I, have Michael P.S.A. I, to, I told you... The older women get, they start to dress like starship commanders. <laughs> she, I said this before on the show, and it's a fucking fact. Look at starship look at women in their fifties, sixties. They all they guys, and they as they, they get older, they, they become generals. They get shoulder pads, and they start wearing fucked up hats. They look like Star Trek. Dude, they're like it's they're 100%. like they're Not like at, like a uh, like when a country gets taken over by a military yeah. leader. Yeah, a hundred percent. Look, they dress like warlords. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they do. They just yeah. go They dress like third world warlords. Like, Do you remember when we met each other in college? <laughs> I was a woman then. Now I am a warlord. Uh, Bob, you can't overlap with Dan's voices. <laughs> I love his voices so much. <laughs> we all love those goddamn voices. <laughs> First of all, not Dan. Dan's Voice Academy, <laughs> backed bitch. by Jim McClure. I'm sorry. opening in two lo locations in West Village. <laughs> Orla locations. West Orlando. <laughs> it's got to be crusty places. <laughs> <laughs> We're in West Orlando. It's, it's odd spots. It's Saskatoon. It's <laughs> Saskatoon. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, play. This is her song. Uh... I, th I think so. I think this. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Jay! Jay just smashed his ear on the microphone. <laughs> what the... Oh, coffee or tea or be with me. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is definitely it. She's never sad before. Oh, oh my God, dude. At the playground. Also, if you're with your kid and she's trying to film this music video and you're just at the playground, you go, hey, lady, you're really bringing down the vibe. Yeah. How about they have to play the kid that dies? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, would they show the kid? They well, it's should. not the actual no, kid. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did a weekend at Bernie's with the real <laughs> kid. <laughs> they tied string to his wrist and puppeteered him. She goes, I want you to use my son. <laughs> <It's been laughs> but Lisa, he's been dead for six months. I want you to use my son. And movie put, magic, make it happen. Put my turquoise necklace on his neck. No, this my will revive got... him for 24 hours, but he will consume the flesh of humans. I took this off a dead Indian chief. <laughs> no, I want to put this. And my name is Commander. Commander Gale. Commander Gale. Right, Commander Gale, is. everybody that sues her. Commander Gale. <laughs> Don't you hate bangs on an old woman? Oh, I love it. Go play this. This is true. Oh, this is sad. It's a William Rivera joint? <laughs> it was Memorial Day. Oh, God, oh, it's wow, immediately... Wow. Here's the thing, wow. it's so sad. Wow. This is immediately great. Jay, I don't... This is immediately great. Listen you're to like, me, dude. I this is a woman, this is a mother who's lost her child, and you're still like... Oh. I don't know if I can do day, this. It was a Mother's Day, a day. <laughs> You've put me through enough. You've put me through enough. Yesterday, and I don't know if yeah, I can do I went through it with you, dude. Yeah, you, you did? I didn't ask you to do anything that I wasn't doing myself. <laughs> <laughs> I ask nothing of you that I wouldn't be willing to jump in the dirt and do with you. Oh, and yeah. I and I am well versed in Lisa Gale, and you have to see this. Yeah, but at least you had Josh next to you, like coke dancing the whole time. Oh, was he really? <laughs> yeah. He goes, you know what's crazy about it is I'm supposed to be sad, but Josh I said? don't. I feel so good. I'll tell you what Josh said to me yesterday. He goes, I'm watching it, dude. I, I just I get it now. I get it. I get the cure. Oh. I don't know what that means, oh. but it made me laugh. All right. Here we go. Also, oh. just on a slight note about concerts in general. Everybody, unless you're sending a specific thing to be like, hey, mom, look, I filmed like 20 seconds of this song. It's that song. Uh, I don't understand how many people, f you're making a shitty video yeah. that someone has already made, by the way, at yeah. the same show from a better seat even. You're never going to use this again. It's you such a waste. And everybody, no one does this, by the way. They don't film 
and watch the show. They look through. It's nuts. Yeah, everybody was. Or everybody around me was videotaping like they were making a documentary. It's insane. Except, except for the aliens, they were they were actually using their uh, their bionic eyes. They're like, I'm telling you, dude. I think we had a special needs kid next to us because <laughs> his parents were next to him. They did not seem to be into it at all, but he, he was super into it. But then he, goes, he hey, came back Jay, with a tall boy. Josh, Josh goes, "Hey Jay, this guy's super strong. This guy keeps Watch missing this. his mouth with the popcorn." <laughs> he came back with a tall boy at one point, so he wasn't uh, too young. Well, and then, then to sell, technically, you do have to sell beer. To, do you have to sell beer if like someone who's mentally retarded comes into the liquor store and they're, if they're like, of age? Yeah, yeah, hundred um, percent. Jay retarded. What shy. they can't drink she beer? No, I know, but you just gotta feel bad if they're like if they come in with a heavy order. Yeah, if they put it in cereal, you gotta stop that. Empty seats in front <laughs> of us. <laughs> and Josh thought about one point. He goes, "I think I'm gonna go down there." I was like, "Why?" I'm like, "We're all like here, like talking about." He's like, "He's like, man, I want to dance, man." Like he meant it to the oh, cure. Yes, the whole time I looked down. To the cure? Dancing. Yeah. Dude, like, I mean, like, and, see, and by the way, like, eyes closed. Like, he was feeling it, dude. There's, he there's was two, living it. Is he on drugs? There's two dances. There's... <laughs> yeah, not like heavy <laughs> drugs of any kind now. Dan, there's two dances at the cure. There's the the little arm f- flowing. That's like, fun. Like water. And then there's the head. <laughs> the head. Just the head. Where they just... Yeah. They just... Was there any of this? Is there any of this? Yeah, of course. Yeah, 100%. That's the one There's dance. There's also a guy in our row that looked like young uh, Robert Smith. <laughs> I think like the only way you can dance a cure is like this. No. Can, I, can I explain an emotion that you might understand? <laughs> this song, when this song came on, Hate, I know this sadness? song. Sadness? I know this song, and I don't like it. But because uh, on pure familiarity, I was like, okay, oh, okay. Oh, something I kind of, it's like when you see an American overseas. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Like, hey, where are you from? Dude, they held us hostage <laughs> all night long, double encore. And then they played. Seven and nine is fucking insane. Like, seven and nine is, that is cruel. It's hostage. Then they played that song, and it's 20,000 people just quietly dancing with their heads. It's <laughs> fucking a nuke. Turn this shit off. I gotta hear some more Lisa Gale. Now let let this Lisa Gale thing play. It's gonna get to my cure point. Okay. Very slowly. <laughs> well, a lot of people talking, Lou. I'm trying to stay on point. No, no, I'm saying Lisa Gale takes a long time to unwind this motherfucker. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back. Wow. It was Memorial Day. <sighs> We gotta go back. Because I, I gotta hear that opening line. Because we gotta know that William Rivera put this into the world. <laughs> oh, directed by Billy Rivers. <laughs> oh, the sound is off. Do, do Billy he, Rivers. Is he? Does he make an appearance in any of the uh, videos? The Billy husband? Rivera. The husband. The, no. He's in a video talking with her on something. Yeesh. They're sitting and talking. Like it, it. Like in uh, the uh, the the fucking. This is the same thing as we talked about. This then one. he Did ditches you? her. Then he leaves her, and then she starts doing these crazy videos from her own like townhouse she lives in now she's out of the mansion yeah yeah bruce leroy remember that movie oh yeah last dragon last same, dragon same thing we talked i think we talked didn't we talk about this when the he put himself in the videos with the girl oh no no, no. oh yeah 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 eddie arcadian <laughs> eddie arcadian <laughs> he's like this, eddie arcadian this is what this is <laughs> yes go ahead, play it P- hit it Oof. it was memorial oh. day in 1983 shout out God bless our troops. I had a dream, but didn't know it was for me. <laughs> oh, God. Things Wish were about to change that I could Inside see. your mom's vagina. It's, it's oh, like a song, like a comedy song. My little boy soon would be a memory. Oh, Damn. Christ. Look at her pushing the empty swing. that something went wrong. How could you make me sadder than a Cure concert? Mm, she'll this do is it. it. This is terrible. Be strong. Dude, do you think your husband's like, do you have to do the song about the kid? Is it his kid? I don't no. know. I, I don't think so. Oh, I, man. No. He's like, old lady, stop. Here's, here's Wilson. In the skies, God, to tell me why. Did my only child have to die? <laughs> Let me here on this earth to cry. <laughs> this is, this is bad shit. <laughs> so... You can turn that off now. Is that his real grave? It better be. Probably. Oh, my God. She, she put a real grave at the park next to a swing? Or she's she's pouring it out. If, for she's, if, if she's not, some guy's just standing off camera with flowers going, can I help you? <laughs> That's, a, That's my father's grave. Yeah, I goes, was coming here to leave flowers for Is there him. a reason you're singing to my nana? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was stopping by to leave some flowers, and I noticed you were singing to my family member's grave. It would yeah. look much finer inside your mom's vagina. <laughs> Why did my child have to die? She's what? crazy. So, when well, that links to the cure, 
when the first encore started, he comes out, he goes, these next few are going to be a little bit tough, this next stretch here. He goes, this one's about my brother who passed away. And I think the chorus is like, I'm so sad my brother's dead and drugs killed him. Jesus. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> it's I went so got, on the nose. I, I had french fries already. I went and got more fries and then I dumped. I, I went into the bathroom to dump. You took a dump. I, I, I ate, I, I, I ate I an inordinate up. amount of french fries last night. Oh. You just kept going We back. just kept going and getting french fries. Dude, I just kept going and getting french fries. <laughs> it was the worst did thing. Did DeRosa love the concert? Of course he did. He was, no, he didn't. He, he loved it because he was around the... He was. They. He told me they VIP'd him in. By, there by was the somebody way, waiting for them. They brought him in. Dissension in the ranks, by the way. Yeah. I think me and Christine have been quietly phased out of the friends group over there. That's uh. That was we've gone away. Really. With that group with Ari and Sal and everybody. They, oh, can I say wait, was it Ari, Sal, and DeRosa? It was Jay. all of them. No, all no. Them wait a second, us. Jay. Jay. Yeah. You were invited. You were invited. You said, no, I'm going to get my own tickets. No, I didn't. That's what DeRosa said. <laughs> he said, you were invited, and you were like, no, I already got, I'm going to get my own tickets. We did I'm... say that we had tickets yeah. already. Yeah. You uh, said you had tickets already. You were Well, already had tickets already, too, and I think they told him to you were sell like his tickets. Sal, Sal they go, sell your with. tickets and come with us to the... Sal's like, guys, we got box seats. Like, if, <laughs> just know this. Know this. If you, we'll be there. If you had sold your tickets and you told me last minute that you and Christine and Josh were going to be in a private booth with all them, and I was sitting... You'd have killed your family last Jay would have been the funniest person on the planet. I would have killed all of you. Yeah. If I fair. was at a Cure concert with Don and Max without you... Yeah. Everybody would have died. Yeah, yeah. Everybody will burn. burn. <laughs> Everybody will burn. Oh that's, oh, that's pretty cool. That guy over there is starting to kill people because his <laughs> friends up in the box. <laughs> this was fucking oh. terrible. How did Max like it? He liked it, dude. Max liked it too much, though. I looked over at one point. He had his hair in front of his eyes, and he was playing the long neck bass. Yeah, countdown back, countdown backwards from ten, and I'll come on your face. <laughs> oh, dude, I love that. That was you're Ron gonna, Jeremy's thing. <laughs> you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be at a city club. You're going to be at a city council meeting trying to get cure banned from schools because Max is a little sad kid now. So He's like, I don't want to go to the park. I mean, the only part, I did like it because we, we, as me, Don, and Max, when they started the hits, we were all kind of dancing together. Okay. We had a good time. I was, And I looked down at Jay. 27 songs in. Crazy. Yeah. yeah we were, I mean, we were older human beings. Um, That's crazy. I looked down at Jay and Christine. We were all kind of having a good time at the end for around... 14 minutes. Well, I also have the set list up. You know my game. So I am trudging. I'm like, no. <laughs> There's so many more. And then the, and then I know the last two. <laughs> He's right. The most exciting part, they start doing Just Like Heaven. Yeah. Song 28. Oh. And song 29 was oh. uh, Boys Don't Cry, which I don't even like, Boys Don't Cry. I text message. I'll read a little. Can I just read a little about yeah, it? Yeah. Let it go. Uh, go um, off, King. All right. Uh, it takes... Oh, here we go. Um, okay, here we go. Um... Uh, I want to kill myself. <laughs> Jacob Screen, you're uh, you're at the. This is Christine. You're at the right show then. <laughs> Funny. And then he's singing. Uh, the, this is at the beginning. The first guy goes. Is that Dave Smith singing? <laughs> uh, it is. Uh, all right, ready. Uh, what is he saying? It takes more than a fucking someone. Ahu uh, ahu ahu. I wrote kill me. Then three. Uh, all right, three seats in front of us. Come down. What's happening? Did they give up? Uh, <laughs> No, the, uh, then the people in front, or whatever. Then it goes like this. Uh, set two encores. I wrote no, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation yeah. point. Then he said halfway through, oh. and Jay writes, ha ha, which I didn't think was funny. <laughs> I wrote, are you leaving? <laughs> and then he wrote, just to the bathroom. Uh, and then it, it just went down. Did you there. guys was, have any, did either one of you think you were going to escape before the end? No. Yeah. I, I asked every eight minutes, do you want to go to Max? No. Every eight minutes, I went, you want to go? Did you? Was Max the swing vote? Like, if you would have got Max, Don would have followed? I, I can't leave without Max. Max, is enjoy, well, yeah. he enjoyed it so much. I think it's the first time he got high, because whoever was around us was smoking some joints. Really? Yeah. We he, were a rose below you. He uh, he got- uh, I was ripping butts. And I, uh, I was hoping they kicked me out. <laughs> I Although actually, I found a pretty new fun way to smoke and not get caught. I was uh, uh it just didn't work. After a while it fills. Just so let it out get, in no. sad size. No. <gasps> Got myself a white claw. Okay. Light the cigarette. Put the cigarette down on the white claw and just keep like like you're sucking a straw. But eventually the can does fill with uh smoke. <laughs> yeah. And you go, ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> and then the entire area smelled like stale cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, so you know what? It wasn't a great idea, but for the first few pulls, though, I felt like I was really pulling something. It's and then by, I swear to by the end of the concert, I was smoking like... <laughs> <laughs> but you're next to Josh, who's tugging on a vape pen, and the amount, the cloud of smoke oh, yeah. around him is like the weather changed. And he's just going, man, I didn't know they were going to do this one. I yeah. haven't heard this one. Goes, I didn't like it, but this is He always great. goes... He goes, sorry, sorry. It's, Sorry. I was looking down at him, and it's like he, people vanished. Everybody around him just vanished. Jesus. Every tug of his Do you think pen. there's someone that was sitting in the vicinity of you guys that was telling a Josh story today? That they're like, yeah, this guy was fucking vaping and dancing, and we're just trying to be sad. I'm going to win them over because I'm good looking, I'm cute, I'm funny, I'm talented. talented. It's true. <laughs> all those things are true. All those things. Uh, you know, here's the, I'll say this, though, for the sake of all of us, it is true. I, I was in a skybox once for, uh, it, it would have been great for the cure because we could have like eaten and done stuff. No, bullshit and naps. like, <laughs> done whatever. it would have been great in that regard, but I'm telling you. Had energy to stay through the rest of the show? Oh, for man, a concert. Yeah, you could have got out and stretched your legs. Oh. For a concert thing, we were in much better seats than it, a box. I gotta say, not for this shitty produced show. No, because there's no screen, there's it no nothing. crazy, there's no stage you could show. See the, you could see the stage fine. It was good, good sure. view of the stage, Maybe but... You can't see them, and they had, usually they have, like, uh, you know, everywhere you can look, and there'll be big monitors where you can watch it. They had two, literally, like, 100-inch He doesn't want to be seen. Uh, Rage Against the Machine had an awesome stage show. Unreal. And they had a, he had a broken foot, and it was still, like... He sat on a, he sat on a box uh, the entire show on Rage Against the Machine, and... Murdered. Huge energy show. Yeah. Murdered. Screen shows. I mean, high production screen shows of all kinds of crazy shit. And, and it's crazy sound. that The Cure doesn't... You would think The Cure would have, like, super sad videos to go with the super sad songs. Max, Max didn't go to school today. He was too bummed? Yeah, he was bummed out. <laughs> <laughs> he was too sad. He goes, it's Wednesday, I'm at home. What's the yeah, point think... in learning about what the sadness and the torture that this country is built upon? He's like, I don't, I don't think you understand. I don't want to really go to school today. He's Dad, going to I'm a cis white male. Yeah. I need to check myself. I've caused too much problems in the world. <laughs> Let me stay at home. Christy, now I'm going to give you... I'm I think, excited I think, one, I think one of the biggest laughs... Of your week here, buddy, because this one... I'm very excited. This is going to make everyone happy. Christine, bring up the video I showed you. So, I looked this up, too, to see that... Hang on, stop it for a second. <laughs> this is nuts. This, this is, is great. This, this is so crazy. This is crazy. So, I look... Actually, you can play, because it's long. Uh, but he's just playing... I just want to say, this guy represents everybody at that concert. He does. So, he's the piano player. They said the cure... There's only one member of the band who's been in the band like for like 30 years. And that's Robert? Two members. It's him and somebody else besides Robert Smith. Everybody else is a hired gun for sure. Sure. And yeah, this every, guy's a piano player. Most of it. Everybody else has committed suicide. This is in the band. This is <laughs> Boys Don't Cry. Uh, you're probably not wrong about that. I just go to show him wailing and just go back to the energy. I just want to show the difference in energy. How uninterested the tambourine. He's yeah, playing he's tambourine. Just, the piano player now. And we'll put this out. I'll post this. He's just he's just smacking it just completely with zero at epith. the bonfire SXM now. Christine, hang on a second. How much time is left in this? Gang, 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 gang. Oh, yeah, you let it play. This tickled me so much. Say it. Boys do cry. Ugh. Boys cry when they're forced to watch three hours of The Cure. Three Ugh. plus hours. Look. Shake it out. Watch this. Drop. Flick. Earplugs out. Flick them. Bye. Damn. He he is clocking off out. Gone. Dude, that's clocking out of an Applebee's. Uh, Did you see him drop the thing? He just goes. Yo, go back to the drop. Go back to the the drop. Is the most. When I saw that, I was like, oh, dude, I finally pulled out my phone for the right moment. Yeah, dude. No, wait a little thing. before. Yeah, there it is. I mean, he's on Madison Square Garden stage. That's Not how much he hated that thirty songs. Yeah. Look. Blech. Dumb. Dude, fuck. the one-handed, <laughs> one-handed drop. He's like, "Get the fuck out of here, you sad puss." He just lets it go. He just goes. He yeah. goes. You guys can catch me over at O'Malley's. And... I'm gonna be getting fucked up. He had to. He played one song on the the fucking piano. Yeah. And he just... had to sit in the back in the dark and listen to this dribble for three hours. It's oh, dribble. Man. Everybody in the I concert. I he was playing like Candy Crush or something. You everybody know? in the they concert go, did hey, the guys, same you're thing. Up. He goes, "Oh shit! Oh fuck! I gotta play piano on this." Everybody did the same thing. As soon. Everybody did the same thing. As soon as they went, fuck this. 
out. <sighs> How good did that feel driving home? You're like, oh, get this off. Oh, when well, we finally got it, we had to walk down. Uh, it was like the Empire State Building stairs. And well, we went down some staircase. It was like a 20-minute exercise fitness routine. <laughs> I'll tell you this. When we, when we got outside after the show and you just hit the air of outside, it was like, that was a great moment. I was like, yes. Yeah. It's done. It yeah. was so, I was so happy. He no longer has us. <laughs> and then I got into a yellow cab. The guy drove directly twice into the traffic of the tunnel. That's it sick. was like he was chasing the tunnel traffic. <laughs> it fun. was insane. There was no reason to do, to do it at all. Dawn parked right near the garden. I was so because I said, "Why don't you park over near the bonfire? We'll go up." She goes, oh, "She called me last minute. I think I'm going to park near the garden because after this, we might want to just get in the car and just go right home." I I kissed her so I was like, "I love you. I love you so much." Good move. I'm so sad now. If I had to walk through all that eyeliner and black oh. clothing for any any more time, I would have killed myself. God, it How really about, was a sad sex of shit in there. Did, what did Drea you, DiMatteo was three rows in front of us, though. Who's that? The, the girl that got killed in Soprano. Chris's girlfriend got oh, killed shit, in Soprano. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah. What the guy in front of you, though, is, I mean, he's the ultimate fan. There, I think there's a couple different. There's the fan who, uh, my age, yeah. maybe older, dude, we got to go see The Cure, and they get the wig, and dude, we'll wear wigs, we'll yeah. bring the wives. Yeah, there's definitely guys wearing Robert Smith wigs. Yeah, and look at the wives are like- But they were like, you know, like, like yeah, look, dude, I'm wearing the thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're those guys. And their guys wives now. are like, you guys are idiots. Why yeah. are you wearing that? Well, because it's fucking The Cure. Yeah. But then there was guys- who had Robert Smith hair? Yeah, yeah. and the same make and makeup, crazy eye makeup. Dude, that guy, those guys have been waiting for that concert. That's been on the calendar for a lot of those dudes. Yeah, the, the guy Getting was ready in front to tease of, their hair. The guy in front of Hairspr- him came. He, he combed his hair with hay. <laughs> it was disgusting. He yeah. hasn't washed his head in yeah. about seven years. Do you know Josh Adam Myers has such a bad luck thing? His eye line. Huh. When everybody when everybody was sitting for the most part, one guy didn't sit, and. It was directly Josh's eye line, and it was a scraggly white dude, older, balding on top, bald on top pretty much, and his side hair was lo- very long and in dreads. Damn. Now, if you recall, yeah. last Damn. time we went, to a, when we went to go see Corn all together, if you recall, a white guy with dreads ruined Josh's night there too. Because yeah, down the aisle. The guy was like, uh, that's oh, when Josh had finally coming, go, Josh keep going, going like deep. Do you mind, man? Because the guy was just like corning out and slapping Josh with dreadlocks over yeah. and over again. Josh was like, "Come on, man! Start so hurt. much empty seats down there." Uh-huh. Uh, so the guy just kept getting closer and whipping him with fucking dreadlocks. Dreadlock white guys. The, the cure not should Josh's the friend. cure should be seen in an eighty seater. They that's, should be eighty seats. The, the, pu- the pussy cat lounge is where the cure should play. Is it, I, I mean, know. play the garden and cut. 12 songs off your set list. Yeah, I would say 12? more than that. 12, yes. I think it's third third night in a row playing MSG. Yeah. Tonight is. They said they no, tonight's the second. second night of three. They said they could of have three. sold out two more shows. Wow. If they put together. Yeah, they could have sold out two more shows. <laughs> what if they just Well, did they're it? already sold, so I feel comfortable saying it's not good. It's not good. Do you think there's anyone listening right now that has to go and they're like, fuck, just spent 25 minutes, 30 minutes just ripping that show apart and they're like, John I gotta C- go tomorrow. John Cougar Mellencamp was un- a little underwhelming when I went. What about what? Okay, guys. Lights, uh, uh, leaps and bounds, more entertaining of a fun show than The Cure. Jay, Dan even Soder. Christine was having more fun at John Cougar Mellon Camp. Yes, yes. Jay, yeah. Dan Soder, uh, friend. Dan, your thoughts? Quick question: What was worse, The Cure last night, or Phil Collins? Phil Collins, Phil Collins, because they that only hurts. Play, they played maybe three songs I know, and the songs I didn't know is like the worst era of Genesis. It's like they didn't do any. They, they did all Peter Gabriel Genesis oh, really? with Phil Collins singing, with the exception of like three songs. It was that's weird. So shit. shitty. What's the worst? Is that the worst show you've seen? Bar none. Really, really. Bar. Let me tell you something. My, I have my plantar fasciitis acted up. Oh no! Because you had a stand. Yeah. Uh, I was walking around so much. Uh, I went in the bathroom at one point and just took a whack at spending some time trying to uh, get an ingrown hair. I went in, I went in the bathroom. <laughs> on I my played, leg. I played Sudoku and Tetris twice. Yeah. I, I was like, I was like, I got to go to the bathroom and uh, see if I can get something out of this thing. It's feeling a little tender down there. D- Three, Dawn, Dawn thought I was Dawn thought I was uh, smoking weed with Jay. Because every time I saw him leave, I was like, I'll be right back. She's like, are you doing? I'd what get are you him. Doing? Yeah. I'd uh, get it, Bobby. I go. Yeah, you go, Bobby. And yeah. then just in the background on the stage, it was him going, hum, hum, hum. Every time you listened, I would listen to see what song he was on because, you, you know. It all sounds the same? The same horseshit. 
three nights sold out. By the way, MSG. By, by, by the second two times that I went out just to go do something in the out in the concourse, Christine followed also. I didn't go, hey, you want to go do something? Uh, she was just like, oh, just behind us. She's like, eh, I'm out here too. She didn't love it. Don loves the Cure. Uh, probably, is, I mean, one of her favorite bands. That's why when you said you're going to the Cure, I'd be like, oh, let me get him for Don. And Max would love him too, because you know. And I didn't want to go, and then you forced me to go. You bullied me to go. And bully's the wrong word. Well, I mean, convinced. You're bigger than me, and you you made me you made me do it. And uh, sounds like you sure. Bow, my sounds big, like you bowed down. Look, oh. sure. Am I bigger, stronger, and faster? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fine, but that's not the point. That you're... Well, it was also before the new teeth. Scarier. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, don't worry. Dan almost took care of those for me. Yeah, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys had a nice weekend together, didn't you? That was oh, scary. So many smooches and hugs. I was watching all your little fucking happy, little little cheating videos. Oh my god! Why did my child have to die? <laughs> <laughs> She's give me a little more of that song, Christine. Let me hear the second verse. I hate it. Do we, give me the second verse of the song. Torturous. I did. Oh no! We you come back from break. We'll roll on a. Uh, Jacob, Jacob, hi, Jacob. No, what about? We oh, said yeah. hi to Jacob. Oh, Jacob. we haven't said hi to Jacob. We also haven't said happy birthday to DJ Lou. It's happy, his birthday. Happy, birthday, happy birthday, DJ Lou. Yes. Hi, got... Jacob. Come on, birthday, DJ Lou turning 37. Thank you. Dude, spread your ass. Am I Talk finally up, Lou? You've had me down for 40 fucking minutes. Oh, Damn, my Jacob God. Jacob and Todd coming in hot. Jeez. I love when you're hot in Florida, dude. Jacob, hot fuck in around. Florida. What's Jacob. Point, Jacob? Is this a... Is this That's a, his birthday present to himself. Is this a solvable problem? Uh, well, I was playing the Cure music, and we no, no, I know. I'm saying we have a lot of stuff. You're going to be playing stuff all the time. That's the nature of the show. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to not have Jacob on the same track as that? Yes, but then I give him to Christine, and then when she's searching for stuff, and I have Jacob's pot up, I might hear her searching for stuff. Oh. So her shit's gonna get. There's no the other choice than that, though. It's, it's one of those two. Christine, yeah. Why? Why is Jacob waving a gun in the video? Because he's had it. <laughs> All right, Jacob. What do you <laughs> want to say? Hey, here's your <laughs> platform. Nothing. You, you miss some zingers by me. <laughs> Whatever. Shit. It's the public's loss. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Hi, Jacob. How are you? Jacob, you're gonna have to start All coming right. into the studio, I guess. We gotta get yeah. an, an update with Jacob because those people have like three hours of air left in that submarine. Oh yeah, Jacob. Dude, Jacob. Uh, twelve, twelve hours, a little, little less now. I guess. Yeah, Jacob. Are you all hands on deck? Are you like watching every development of this? Because this is I've never th I never thought of a more Jacob story than this. I, I've been keeping the tabs. Didn't I call this? I've been calling this for years. Crazy to do what they're doing. Having a uh, Jacob, can I ask you a question? Ping. Yeah. When they when they have the next sub that's going to go down and see the Titanic and the wreckage of this sub, are you going to go do that? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to go on that little adventure? I mean, <laughs> Jacob's trying to save money so he can also jerk off while he does it. <laughs> they just keep going down. There's just wreckages Jacob, of subs. Oh, look at this! It's a six stacker. Um, Jacob, are they? Is, there's a rumor that they're in the Titanic. That they were in the wreckage, caught in the wreckage. Do you think that's true? I doubt it. I true. think they lost communication uh, about uh, Jacob. Uh, an hour and a half in, so that's like well above the. the they were. Now, do you think when they die, they're going to they find that heaven like uh, like Kate Winslet, like where it's going to be Leo waiting on yeah. top of Grand Stairs? <laughs> I mean, that's my. That's how I want to be greeted in heaven. Hey, Jacob, there's God a there's right. a rumor that a, a megalodon actually bit into the sub. Is that? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Jacob, follow-up question, Dan Soder. Is, are you pumped for the Meg 2? <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, no. Jacob, not Dan. Yes. Follow-up to the follow-up. <laughs> are you pumped? Are you pumped if they do survive? And it, uh, Are you pumped for the movie that's going to follow this, starring The Rock? There's bound... Yeah, there's going to be a movie. Yeah, you're right. This. How about 47 sure. meters down, too? Even more meters downy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that they use meters. <laughs> Damn, dude! How much? I mean, it's crazy. Even more have a, it's crazy that there's a running <laughs> clock on like how yeah, long they have these people have. Less than twenty hours of air. Left. But no, I, they, I was listening to a DJ on Sirius today on one of the music stations uh, when I was driving, and she was like, "A lot of people are making jokes." Which, by the way, I'm all you know, make jokes about whatever you want. I don't give a shit. But she did go. Um, she's surprised how freely people are making jokes about this, and yeah. it's like they're gonna die. They go, "Is it?" Not being taken, like, people might feel bad because it's like a billionaire. It's like his son's also on there. With, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. these are people. 
He's a billionaire too, though. Yeah, the kid that they were making fun of. Oh, was, then it's fine. The, You're right. Let's laugh at it. The stepson. Why did Titanic search to party have to die? The stepson of one of the guys was at a Blink 182 concert and posted about it. I saw him <laughs> catching right. shit for that. Right. What happened? Who? He said my dad would have wanted me to. <laughs> Yeah. to feel good at this moment. Yeah, and he went to a Blink-182 show. Of course he did. Girl, it's a rock show! And meanwhile, his dad's like, we gotta get out of here somehow. We're gonna fucking die. I saw a story that the son, did someone, one of the other guy's sons, like, while this is happening, like, try to hook up with an OnlyFans model? I saw a story. <laughs> no, we had, wow. it, on, we had it on Skanks today. We didn't get to the story, but it was like, one of the, one of the people's, like, son tried to shoot a shot with an OnlyFans. Like, girl, while the family's missing underwater. That's fucking wild. If, you're, no if, your dad, if your stepdad's a billionaire and he's in a sub and he's about to die and your, your mom's point. about to get a lot of money. He goes, hey, mom, I thought about you. Wait, hold on real quick. Where are you? <laughs> and I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I, was... I cannot dream tonight. Oh, Jacob, you're back out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Damn, the control. Your point, Jacob? Sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> he... How these people I was going to say they played at least a, they played basically a double album for an encore. Damn, that yeah, that's a night. that's a double album. That's sixteen <laughs> songs. That's insane. Sixteen songs. Jacob, is Jacob, fucking Jacob, nuts. It, yeah, these, fifteen. Jacob, six and nine. Jacob, not oh, Dan. I thought seven not Dan. Nine. I got another question for you because you're the expert on this. They're going to die. Not they're going to die of of uh, from the cold before they die of oxygen, right? Because it's freezing down there. It's cold, but they, they can survive till tomorrow, but the, it's going to be the oxygen. Even if they get to them, it's not like people think they're just going to put a rope around it and drag it up. There's not a lot of... Uh, Things that can get down and get to them. Yeah, and the pressure down <laughs> at where they are, too, might be might crush any... There's very few uh, things that can get to it and then hook it up and bring it up. So it's, it's a logistical nightmare if they do find it. Do you guys ever think of the possibility of a underwater civilization that takes them in and heals them, and that's where they are right now? Atlant that was uh, like that, Atlantis. That was hmm? that was Ralph. Just Ralph. Saw, that's what, he was one of the first people I saw. Where I, after I heard that lady <laughs> say it on the radio, like people were making a lot of jokes. But Ralph put that. He goes, "Do you guys think we're watching in real time the origin story of Aquaman?" And you're like. What? I think they're going to die, Ralph. Yeah. Ralph, they're, <laughs> Ralph, they're going to yeah. die of oxygen. You got to make a better joke than that yeah. if you're, you're going to die. Damn, what Funny. the fuck? Stepson I mean, shoots his shot with OnlyFans model as rescuers scramble to locate missing sub. Let me read it. Go up. This is great. Um, Oh, dude. Was he just reaches out? Hang on. Things are starting to look very grim for the five people trapped inside. I already read that with too much... Like yeah. happiness, What's things are looking starting to look pretty grim for the five people trapped inside the submersible. <laughs> meant to explore the Titanic, but that's not stopping the stepson of one of the missing men from shooting a shot with an OnlyFans model. <laughs> Damn, it's his stepdad. Uh, Hamish Harding is a British billionaire among the passengers inside Ocean Gate's Titan, the submersible that lost communication two hours into its dive Sunday. Harding's stepson Brian Zazz's. Has been very. You got it. nailed, God, it. nailed, it. nailed it. You nailed it. He's all consonants. You fucking nailed it. S Z A S Z Zazz. That's, that's, that's one of the songs they sang last night at the Zazz. Fuck that concert sucks shit. I want my life back. I want my son back. Do you know what really hit me yesterday? Because we landed Monday. We had no show. We had no show here Monday, but I landed and did have to get my shit together relatively fast and go to Legion of Skanks. Came home yesterday. We have to do two. Uh, we bonfires. did two bonfires yesterday, and uh, I feel like I had to do something before that. Maybe not. Maybe that was the first thing. But I came to do two bonfires and then this concert today. I woke up at a dentist appointment. I did Legion of Skanks already. I'm doing this. I'm doing SDR. So then I got to pack to go back out on that tour. Jesus. And I really, when we got in the cab yesterday, I fought. This is good. You'll appreciate this, Christine. I fought almost starting a fight with Christine just to get out the anger that I've wasted my entire <laughs> night. But I didn't. And then Christine goes, we really got to make sure you keep your Tuesdays off during this tour. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that was a lot. I have to go tonight. We got back. It was it was 12.45. I got, I, got, I got back at 1.30, starving, by the way. And then I, had a, I woke up this morning, and everybody was like, fuck you. We're not going to school. Don didn't wake up. The dog was like, fuck off. Wait, <laughs> really? Everyone was just in a cloud Dude, of malaise? Ev everybody was just... A general malaise? Yeah, I have to go tonight. I have to do this. Then I have to go tonight and get... Uh, I got to get... Um, I'm going. I'm getting uh, in at the Italian-American club. What? 
I have to go get uh, <laughs> initiated at the Italian. What are you I laughing asked, at? Uh, I remember what? He, wait, Bobby That's told me this Matt, before the show. I asked him if he gets. I asked him if they get initiated. Do they slap him with spaghetti noodles like when Brazilian <laughs> jiu-jitsu people get slapped with the belts? I have to go tonight. And I'm getting initiated into the hey, Italian American club. Robert Kelly's going to be a made man. What's that face, Jay? You're I'm really a man. A, you're not really Italian. I'm half Italian. But Sicilian. Uh, why did you really you upped it on the Italian? I'm half Italian. Do, not about can the, you take Jay and I to have little espresso? You can come to the Italian as my guest. Can I play some bocce ball? 24 hours a day. <laughs> can you bocce. can come play a little bocce. You some can bocce smoke ball. a cigar. I want to play some bocce ball. You can have a little alozel. <laughs> you can have a little como se llama. I don't even think that's real. It's real. Como se llama. Como se llama is how's your head, I think. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? What is your name? <laughs> Just, uh, little, little, Bobby, hey, Jay, please say that at your fucking little... Jay, don't be a stunat. Okay? Yeah, right, Yo, Bobby's going to walk in tonight and go... Oh shit! Ah oh, damn it! <laughs> oh no! And then and then it's you banging a it's you banging a payphone yeah. in Queens. No! <laughs> Turns out they got Bobby. <laughs> he had messed with a made man. You Robert don't do that. Robert Smith was made, and he was in the cure. <laughs> Bobby had said some bad stuff about him. Tonight's a big night, baby. Damn, eight, dude. Eight fifteen. I'm gonna be at the Italian American club. At eight sixteen. I, I, I can never be made because of my Judaism. You see, yeah. but uh, we were all we were all kind of getting made that day because they were taking. Bobby, hey, you know? Hey, Jay, tuck Once... in your cross of David there, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> Bobby knew he was going to be made, and he was happy about it. <laughs> Oh shit, dude! <laughs> dude. <That's> just, <laughs> oh shit, dude! Yeah. <laughs> but it turns out that the mob had heard him talk about Robert Smith. <laughs> I gotta do. They having a meatball competition in a couple Shut weeks. Shut the fuck I up! Swear to God, they have a meatball competition. Uh, and Don's, I'm gonna enter. To bring it, they're gonna make Bobby do like the new guy stuff. He goes, go slice the garlic with a yeah. razor blade. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you heard. I need you to go find me some fresh tomatoes <laughs> and put down a bet on the Mets. Yeah, all maybe right? you heard. Oh. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't do that no more. Yeah, okay. Dane. Hey Dane, I don't know if you heard this no more. I don't orgasm no more. Yeah, I don't orgasm. <laughs> you guys do the birth thing. I don't do that bus shit no more. Hey Stu Nod. Yeah. Hey, Stu Nod, no one buys crushed tomatoes in this place. <laughs> hey, you two don't understand. I don't make forced uh, videos. I'm an uh, influencer by myself now. You ruined all my fun. Uh, yeah, that's right. You ruined Marcus, all my fun. Marcus Silva. Shout out, Marcus Silva. You go and then you break a rule. Get out of my face right now, man. I'm serious. I'll fucking knock you out. Oh. Give him the one. Uh, the rule. Hang on. This is terrible. It's the oh, funniest. Yeah. Fucking thing I'm doing, you have to somehow get in and break a rule. Yeah. <laughs> you know, somebody, somebody was saying something. Oh man, saying, yeah. these are some good drops, dude. We, gotta, we have to talk about because you guys are on Torgasm right now. Yeah. Basically, oh, for you sure. Guys are, you guys are Torgasm. I'm Jay too. Davis. You're Jay Davis. Uh, I'm Gary Goldman. You're Gary, and you're you're, uh, you're Jay Davis. Uh, you're Bob. <laughs> no, you're not. You're I'm Jay Davis. No, I'm Bobby. You're we kept Gary. Talking, me and <laughs> me and uh, Dan, I think, brought this up the other day because we were talking about how Jacob was watching Torgasm. Again, the concept of, and none of you guys stepped in. Uh, the BTK even just say the fact of that, because the joke was he'd say, "I'm." People say I'm so nice. I'm so nice all the time. This is Jay Davis's joke in tour guys, and that's like the through line of the show is that they're all Bobby, Gary, and Dane are all helping Jay with get this, this joke. Bit. You're so good at context. You know what? Thank I you. started that. Well, no, I started that. Uh, Jay, bonfire context. Jay, calm down. A little bonfire context. A little bonfire. Sometimes Jay gets upset if can you I, steal credit. Can I say something, and that's Jacob? That's exactly what's happening right Jacob, now. Jacob, I know you're a furious man right now, but I did a good. I started giving the context. You did. You did. That was great context. Yes. Yeah. No, I give you full credit. <laughs> it's great. I'm just saying that he summarized it. <laughs> He did a good job summarizing. I did fuck it. I love you. Got fired up about it. I can't text uh, that. He goes, Dan, you're so good at that. He goes, what the fuck I started hey, doing? Well, Jim actually told them we don't know how to do this. He's uh, actually bad ask, at it. Can I ask Christine to kill the sheen screen share? She had me looking at the saddest picture of Robert Smith for 40 minutes. <laughs> On top of my mic being down, I was ready to blow my brain Dude, down. they took away your ability to speak and showed you a sad old British man. Oh, it was so depressing. Did you see Jacob hang himself with the blind rope? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but no, that great, great context. What were you saying about it? Go ahead. What were you saying? Well, hang on. First, I just want to say that Marcus Silva said he loves The Cure. Saw them in San Diego a few weeks ago. Had to leave an hour, and it just went on and on. Enough already. It's terrible. That's exactly They are right. fucking jerking each other off on that one. It's, yeah. There's, 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 there's yeah. No, no band's got 30 good songs. They don't have 15. No. Yeah. Terrible. It was Terrible so concert. Bad. Terrible. Very and, so, and, no, oh, but, and no production. Get a. Get and what some. was the point I was saying? Where was I? You were talking about Torgasm, about the joke, and oh, we never yeah. stepped in. 
I got you. The, the fact that not Context. even on, thank you. You're good. Even on not Dan. No one <laughs> corrected on the most basic level. The flaw of the wording of the joke from no one ever said anything about this. When he goes, I'm so nice that if I was the BTK killer, mm-hmm. they would call me the TLC killer. Mm-hmm. Which like, immediately no. They wouldn't because you'd be the BTK killer. Yeah. <laughs> like, Can I say something right now to def- in defense of moi? Yeah, you didn't give a shit. No, number one, <laughs> number one, one I they, give two number one, they cut out a lot of stuff that I did say. Number two, I made him cry. <laughs> okay. Fair okay. Enough. I don't Let's know what forget. you want from me. Let's not forget. I did what I was supposed to do. Let's not forget. I made him cry. I made him cry. Yeah. He didn't even cry when Dane yelled at him for breaking rules. Uh, yeah. Dane is a fierce competitor. Oh. I know. Do you have the think? Do you have the apology part where Dane all and he goes, "I got to apologize to Jay. I said a lot of mean things to him. If I if said if someone said if those things, was to- saying some of the things that I was saying to Jay, I probably would have been like, you know what? Whether I fucked up or not, dude, shut the fuck up, or I'm gonna come over and, and, and knock you out." <laughs> he goes. He goes. Jay really sat there and took it like a bitch, and I'm sorry for treating him like a bitch that he is. Meanwhile, Dane, <laughs> I know this for a fact, has not been in a fight in his life ever. <laughs> like you to knock somebody out is not an easy task. By the way, you can say it. Yeah. But to hit, you know, did he have security or something? I, I have a feeling the way he was famous. I had a feeling like boyfriends are gonna get pissed because I mean women are. You mean parents? <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. That's a le- that's a legend. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying though. Like, like yeah, he had a, a good security team. We're hu- we're hu- thank, thank you, Jacob. <laughs> oh no, I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Where boyfriends were like, yo, fuck this guy. I'm sick of my chick. Like, you know, she's sending pictures of her tits uh, blindly to his MySpace every day. Yeah, uh, the, the, you got to say, Torgasm, when he was, it was colleges. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it yeah. wasn't, cl- the, the next phase of his life was arenas, yeah. which was stupid. He went like, colleges to dude, arenas? I, dude, I was at the, I played the garden with him fuck. in the round. Like, I was there last night. Way more entertaining show, by the way. <laughs> I mean, people left happy. <laughs> 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 uh, but uh, yeah, no, we did colleges. Uh, so there was, I mean, there was girls, but they were all, you know, college chicks and stuff like that. And there was no really banging on the bus because we did the show, mm-hmm. four hour meet and greet, and then we left. But we got to take a break. We, yeah, we have to go. Take a break. We got to pay the bills here on Sirius XM 103, Faction Time. And then the come, back, fire. come back with a song about Robert Smith's brother. Yeah. Uh, Dan Soda's here. Dan, we got uh, Dan Soda. He'll be in New York Comedy Club in Stanford. Great club, by the way. You're going to love I'm it. excited. Uh, July 7th and 8th. you got to go check him out. Beautiful, brand new club. Uh, and he's one of the funniest guys walking. After that, he'll be in Tampa. Uh, what is that? Dania Beach. Dania Beach. Where is that? Dania Dan- Beach. It's Fort Lauderdale. It's the old... It's Instead of being in the seminal hard rock now, it's like... Yeah. San Diego, uh, Irvine, California for tickets and all of the tour dates to see this funny young man. DanSoda.com. One of my favorite people in the world, and that's coming from not Dan. And we got Big J Okerson. Big J, he's he's on the fully loaded tour. He's doing Torgasm two all summer long. Uh, July to July tenth through the twelfth, Legion of Skanks will be on tour in New Hampshire, Boston, Connecticut for tickets and all other tour dates. Visit BigJComedy.com and you just go to RobertKellyLive.com. I'm going to be doing my summertime fun time tour. All over uh, New Hampshire, Rochester, Rutherford, uh, New Jersey, and Las Vegas. So go to RobertKellyLive.com for my tickets. We'll be right back. Also, listen to all of uh, or follow all of us on social media. And another, subscribe to all of our YouTube channels. We yes. don't push that shit enough. Yes. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes, all please. Yeah. Fucking please. Yeah, and, uh, and leave some nice comments. Leave some nice comments. Please. And listen to our podcast. Yeah. Listen to the Bonfire podcast as this well. This is the uh, Bonfire. We'll be right back after this. So haunting every time. This is Giannis Pappas, and you're listening to The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Robert Kelly. Faction Talk. Probably talked about this on Wednesday's show. Uh, I got to get a sip of water here. <laughs> but uh, Soda this weekend, did they got they talked him into the cold dip uh-huh. uh, at the stadium we were at. They did? Yeah. Wow. And, um, and when he went down, he went down underneath fast. Now, Burt went in first, Tammy Pescatelli, and then... Um, Tiffany Haddish all went in Tammy went in yeah and then uh, Dan when he was his turn to go in after that yeah he went down underneath 
like Bert told him to, and when he came up, uh, it said he swallowed a lot of that water. Ugh. It it what? it weirded him out for the rest of the day. Oh, <laughs> that's nasty. That's disgusting. Why? Because for their naked cold dip, huh? What is the cold dip? Cold dip the, the is a... Uh, ice bath. Ice bath. Ice bath. Yeah. You, you, the you, plunge, right? Like, the cold water plunge. It's yeah. 37 mm. degrees oh. or something like that. It's, it's crazy. so good Bucket for you, though. Nice. You did three... You guys did three minutes? Soda did three. three. I didn't do I it this time. Did. I did three minutes when I did it. I yeah. only did 20 seconds. I did I did 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Really? And then 30 seconds. I, dude, it was so cold. And I was it's coming brutal. from... I was I'm coming not good from at it, heat. But, but doesn't it feel good after when you're done? Well, I'll say the first time I did it, I did that for those three minutes, and it was an exhilarating day yep. all around. But even people who did it last year who were doing it for the first time, again, the DJ Carter Cruz is on the tour. She did it again. Tammy, they both came out and were like, they did not enjoy the rest of the day. It was actually like a hard time getting like comfortable again and warm. Yeah, they didn't like it this time. I've had both where I, it's the best <laughs> day of my life, and then another day where I'm like, I can't not be cold. Yeah. Like, I need soup all day. It's How often weird. do you do it? Whenever I'm at a nice hotel, I just get a bunch of ice and I dump it in the... Like, I was oh, just in Vegas. It? Yeah, I don't have one. Oh. But I was just at Brad Garrett's club and they give you, like, a really nice tub. Uh, tub. Yeah. And there's, like, an ice machine down the hall. And I did it all week and it was ridiculous. It was so good. How long would you stand for? Like, two minutes. I can't do any more. Or I'll get up and I then go back. I did 30 seconds and yeah. I had to get out. And I don't know. This one was... Brutal cold. It makes your feet hurt. I'm gonna buy one. Like while you're in it, like uh -huh. everything hurts. But gonna, like, yeah, you, my feet hurt. And the guy when he came in, he was he's rubbing my feet. I forgot about <laughs> this part. Towel. I forgot about this part. <laughs> that was a crazy. <laughs> Hang on. You just had. You just realized that you opened a door you weren't gonna open, I and you just, had to take log of what you. Oh, here you are. You have to open <laughs> Go ahead, it now. Bobby. He's showing the father and son. Yeah. The guy so with the ahead. same gray beard I have. So you were sucking off your son. I was. Not, <laughs> dude, don't say that. Come on. Not Max. He's this too young. boy man. <laughs> I, Living my, the fantasy, bro. My, my road son. My road don't, son. Say, don't say that. The one you call your boy. You guys travel as daddy and boy, the comedy duo. Ew. Uh, well, Not your was, actual son. That would be incest. This was, is gay sex. He was. He was <laughs> I told him my feet hurt. Because when I. <laughs> Jacob, stop. <laughs> Go on, your he, feet hurt. He told me. I told him my feet hurt when I got into the ice bath. My feet were really Jeez. hurting. Yeah. And he was. He, <laughs> he did not say that. He said it's the circulation. Mm -hmm. So. He must get the blood flowing. So when he brought me back into the. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm out. I'm out. I can't. No, it's too on. late, dude. When he brought me back into the sauna. Uh huh. When we went back. When we went back, there's no way to say this doesn't. Does he had you sit on his lap. That, that we weren't on a date. When we went back into the sauna together. You guys were slowly. Did you, as these guys, did you slowly reach over and undo each other's towels a little bit? Just, I had shorts on. You feel the hangout? You've had so many gay experiences. I had shorts. You, you get it right. I have. I have. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fight that one. I I had shorts on, mm -hmm. so I had swim trunks on. Um, but he said that your feet hurt because of the circulation. Yeah. That that's the that's why you have to when you went into the sauna. He's like the heat on the bottom of your feet when you're heating that up and going back and forth gets that circulation going uh, in your sciatica and all that, and it will heal that. It will make that feel better. And by the third time in the cold plunge, my, the the pain in my feet went away. Nice. Isn't it? Do you guys have really bad foot foot pain? I, I have the worst. I've had plantar fasciitis, which sucks. I got yeah, it, I got it right now, dude. It's the but worst. They will it's do, the worst. You have to go get rolfed. What's that? That's when a guy from a Russian steam bath <laughs> no, forces you. you down. This is this is feeling better without all the gay stuff Bobby throws in. <laughs> Bring up a rolfing thing. Rolfing is massage, but it's almost like I was describing with my uh, ex-mother-in-law where they yeah. go to like the, uh, what do you call that? Not the connective tissue, but like the- Ligaments. They just, Tendons? They, uh, no, Tendons. they break up the fascia. And, and oh. The do you have but flat like, feet? Um. Maybe I don't I do. know, but I know that plantar fasciitis. When I've had it, it sucks. Do you do you use those things? I use those. Um, they like tight. I'm wearing them now. If you want to see my foot, yeah, they yeah. help a lot. What what is that? What does it do? It's like squeezes this part of your foot. Oh yeah, and it like it's got copper in it. And it really helps. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing a commercial. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's weird. It's okay. Bobby's a <laughs> spokesman for Pillow Cube. It's... <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Have Bobby's your Russian man. lover put some <laughs> on. Me and Max. Oh, I don't want you to lose your pitch, Bobby. I don't want you to lose your gig. Hey, Pillow Cube, Bobby didn't do anything gay in that club at all. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey guys, Bobby wasn't involved in uh, in daddy son fantasy <laughs> uh, blowjobs inside of a sauna. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy you uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna buy you the edge therapy. What's that? That's a portable. So they really whack you off till you're just about to come. And <laughs> send do you, you have, your do you have a balcony? No. Oh, okay. You can't get it. It's a portable ice bath. You can. You, it's like a you blow it up, oh, but yeah. it's really strong. You know, really. Yes, but it's also like it's a that's those are the ones that are like cylinders, though, right? You no, have to really dunk in. No, it. you. They have an XL one for guys like us. You can get in Ouch. it, and it has a filter. <laughs> he has a. <laughs> you did say us, which was cool. I threw us nice. in. I threw. But a you know, you're in the little one now, well, and you feel good about it. We're men, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it has a filter, but it's a hot tub. And a cold bath, you can switch it up, and it shoots ice water in, and then filters it back out, so it's always clean. Has a lid on it, uh, a little expensive, but you can take it wherever you go. Like if you want to wait for this, like a couple weeks, yeah, till you know you guys go away to the, the Just to it. you can take it with you, and then jump in it. I, I'm I'm getting into this because I have the sauna in my room, my bedroom. I bought a personal sauna. No, he's I the Russian it. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I brought him home. <laughs> it's a one-person sauna. <laughs> Max, move over. Sergey's staying over tonight. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh my God. <laughs> awesome. yeah. I already saw him. Hi. <laughs> Thank God. That's two times Hi. one week. Hey, dude, look at this, huh? Oh this is a takeover. How we got doing? old school bonfire takeover. <laughs> We're back. Merc face, Andy, hey, and Daniel Soder. We're back. Remember us from 2015? <laughs> We weren't allowed to cuss, so hey. fuck shit, piss. <laughs> How's drinking that uh, ice bath water? You still feeling all right? Dude, I uh. literally thought I was going to die. <laughs> I was coughing for uh, a day, being yeah. like, I think it's in my lungs. You had Tammy Pescatelli Botox in your lungs? <laughs> I, had, I, had, uh, I had Bert plug. He was like, he plugged a grape soda by pulling it out of his, in between his legs. Yeah. Uh. I drank that water. Uh. And you know what? After I got that check, it was... Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> After Bert came in, I was like, I'll drink more of your bath water, sir. <laughs> what else, Mr. Bert? What else, Mr. Bert? <laughs> Can I take my shirt off like you? I start taking my shirt off. Did you take your shirt off? No, hell no. Yeah, never. You did. On, you know, uh, did you go in the tub with no, your the shirt ice off? Bath oh, oh yeah, in the ice bath I did. But if you watch the cliff. They film you from behind? I, f I no, take off the cliff? shirt, the cliff. Before <laughs> they can start filming, I take off my shirt and jump into the ice bath. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. there was zero you chance. Want, you didn't want your torso being seen? No, you're not seeing my toddler torso. <laughs> Big belly, no muscles. <laughs> I feel bad we intruded on Carmen. No, no, that we were just talking about you. This we're is talking. Not, no. We've been I'm talking so about glad. his experiences. No, 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 no. I'm yeah. so glad you guys Dan. showed up. Dan, how have you been, Dan? No, no, no. no, 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 no we no, did this Dan. yesterday. We already did that yesterday. We caught up yesterday. Yeah, we caught up yesterday. No, no, no. We caught up on the live show. No, Bobby, what's yesterday. up with you and Russian bands? <laughs> yes, because Bobby... Are you into him now? Not only no, is he into him. First of all, he's, he's into guys taking no, no, care of him no, there, no, if you no, know no. what I mean. No, 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 no. Don't listen to you this. You like being tossed around. No, you that's not true. Oh, you is... love it. You no, love no, no, no. No, no, no. Get my winks ready, Lou. It's way dirtier it's... than drinking water. Yeah, dude, it's just massages all. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. First of all, listen, this isn't. First of all, you are not ganging up on me. Old Bonfire <laughs> yeah, is not lighting <laughs> new Bonfire on fire. Andy and I rode <laughs> in to set you up. This is not happening. Listen, I'm getting. Do you know how uninteresting it's been all these years of Dan not having gay sex in a Russian yeah, bathhouse? I'm sorry that I like straight one-on-one -on -one hetero well, sex. Hey, when you put it that way. Dan's only in the let's... chicks and that is boring. <laughs> oh, let me guess. You Jay. like peanut butter and jelly too. What a boring hack I am. Jay, when you put it that way, let's talk. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, do you, do you love just a big Russian guy? Shut your face. Don't do it. touching you. No, Japanese now, Russian. Yeah. Don't do the accent. I will kill you. If you do the impression. What is a Japanese Russian? <laughs> no, nah, it's one of the Husky Russians. No? <laughs> oh, really? We're, oh, yeah. yeah. Mountain, one of the mountain people. Sumo? Siberians. Yeah. 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 Eastern yeah. plains. Inuit. Yeah. Now you have yeah, to do the in, accent. They live you're, in your uh, Your man, I can feel, had much more body a year ago. That's what the show's <laughs> going to say. Let me give you the scenario so you can do it right, Then I'll give you the full scenario because I've been over here banging out Russian accent. <laughs> well, doing, doing my goddamn best. I love it. Oh, my six fat. Um... <laughs> Um, oh, his Top Gun shirt. Six <laughs> fast. Fuck, that's an awesome that's shirt. That's a call dude. sign. I fucking we love that. We all have call signs. What? You guys got call yeah, signs? We have call signs. Yeah, Jacob's we... Fitbit. How great is that one? <laughs> yeah. He hates it, but yeah. it's the best. What's we yours? Got... Six and uh, eight. I'm six and eight. 
Eight and six. Yeah, six eight. and eight. My teeth. My new teeth. He's six and eight because he's got Guess six. Guess what mine is. What's yours? Merch face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Merch Christine's face. Christine's really? chortle. Yep. I like that. Uh, Chortle's what's good. What's Lou's? Chantix. Chantix. <laughs> Chantix is great. And, and Black Can we give Lou, Carmen one? Black Lou is blue. Blue. Love blue. Black Lou. Dude. It's spelled that way. You guys gave each other call signs. What about Dan? Vanilla? Maybe vanilla? Well, Bobby had to come in and really like... Stake his claim to his yeah. place. So he gave us all call signs and made shirts <laughs> Listen, for dude. us. I like that. Listen, dude, I don't do voices that well, but I'm learning. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'll, can I tell you something that you've already just swamped me on? Yeah, yeah. Those headphones are yeah, sick. Yeah, dude. Dude, I came out. I had to do a couple. I had a, I had a, I had a peacock a little different way. Those are Damn, fucking dude. Eddie Van Halen you guys guitar. Got, you guys have such second wife energy where you're all hotter and you guys uh, fuck more. Well, we're actually walking together now, working out. <laughs> we were high school got- sweethearts, Carmen, so all we did was just fuck missionary and then talk about people we knew that died. <laughs> Yeah. Well, now it's two men hanging out talking a uh, gay bathhouse experience. <laughs> it's not gay. That never gets old. It's so interesting. It's well, not, wait, it's wait have you ever been to a Russian bathhouse? Uh, a Turkish bathhouse. Yeah, were they like... Uh... They were very like, just, they ripped it all off. I went with, uh, on a military tour, Vecchione was almost in there. It was me and... My oh, in Turkey. Kyle, in Turkey. G-O. Yeah. Not like the East Village. Vecchio changed his uh, time, his appointment time, or he would have been in there with He'd have seen you naked. He would have seen us naked. It was Were you giant. naked? You were naked? Oh, in- totally. Wow. They rip it all off. Wow. And, yeah. and they really do. They take the clothes off you? Because I, mean, I, I, I think there would be a point where I'm like... In New York City, yeah. they, they have the, the co-ed off. day. And I was in their co-ed day, and they brought this beautiful blonde in. And they, the Russians guys were hitting with the leaves. Yeah. And they hit her. They were hitting her so hard, her bikini top came off. And then she was just topless. What kind of sexy mistake is that? <laughs> I don't know, but let me Did tell she you go like, oh, I'm sorry, my big, beautiful boobs just popped out it of my bikini. So if you tried to force too. naked on me in a bathhouse, I'd look, I'd look like Carrie in the beginning of Carrie. <laughs> yeah. I'd be covering my tits and, my tits and dick and crying while they throw Violence tampons would at me. I would be, I would be. I would full, get violent. I would be full on grocery store temper tantrum out of a three-year-old. Yeah. They'd be dragging me down as I held my pants on. No way, dude. I'd probably slip too and make an ass out of myself. <laughs> when, you, when you got buck naked, were you like... First of all, Dan, I was not buck... Uh, I had swimming trunks on. He was... Had a towel with nothing on underneath. Wait, the guy. We have some video. We have he some video there. from it. Actually. Oh yeah, it's really good. We do not good. have. What? This is. Wait, stop. It's so good. <laughs> wait, there ho- it is. Oh, <laughs> they're showing the video oh of the old what? silver fox going down on the oh twink. Oh my god. This is not. Oh my god. This is not real. For a second, I thought that was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jay. I go, dude. I get. Oh did I get sucked off by an this older Bobby man? And Dan? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, Bobby and Dan go to war. Yeah, I don't like watching it. It's terrible. Now also, that I, I know, know that's the worst part when I know it's not, his stomach. I like know it's that. not me because if any old man touched my torso, I would fucking knee him in the head. Dude, the other video they were not sucking. Bobby. His... Bobby goes from room to room to bath to bath with him. He grabbed him around the waist. He oh, did. He just turned it off. He told me. He told me. He, he told me. He just was like, you Get know, him telling me how hand. to do the bath. I was doing it wrong. I was in the sauna just sitting. He was like, yeah. no, you have to. Come he goes, and he, yeah, kiss me. We're supposed to kiss not, each that's other. Not it. Get that's blood not, going. No, we didn't Let kiss. Me grab Andy, it makes it easier to watch if you hold my hand. Hold my hand. It's easier to watch. <laughs> Andy, have you ever, had, you Andy, have you ever had skin on skin while you watch two men blow each other? <laughs> Jay, do you press, my, are, do you press Jay, my flesh? Jay's hands are so oh. subtly soft. Oh, it looks like Ryan. Jay's hands are so tender. Looks like Ryan Hamilton and Colin. This is freaking me out. Bobby's like, I don't know. You're about to make me blow in this sauna. <laughs> I didn't blow Daniel. I was doing calling. Gay sex really blown. brings oh, everybody I together. Did suck, really I did does. suck calling off in Iraq. <laughs> happy <laughs> pride, everybody. Gay sex really brought this room together. Look how happy you are now that you've done that. <laughs> done what? Done Dan, what? Dan, I'm yeah. going to tell you. Ever since you got ravaged by that Russian you man. You got naked in front of I'm going to tell you why he definitely had gay sex this weekend. It was because he came in. This is the pre-record, you know, yeah, Terminator yeah, yeah. timeline. Yeah, Terminator timeline. This is and, on Thursday. And Dan, uh, or, uh, Dan oh Jesus! <laughs> wow. Bobby well, now that we're both Whoa. together. Whoa. Whoa. Dan, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm sorry know. he did that to you. Hold my right? hand, Andy. Hold <laughs> 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 back to this. <laughs> Put the game oh, board back on. Off. Put it on. <laughs> I'm like George terrible. Scott in hardcore. <laughs> turn it off. Yes. Turn it off. So he can't. Oh my God. Carmen, Christine. you only looked away once. This is terrible. I love it. Carmen put her glasses on for it. <laughs> yeah, I Carmen did. was like, "Excuse me." Carmen's taking. Do you have this to? You the, have to do that both at the same time. This is the best promotion for my comedy taping that I've been to. Which Thank is you. happening Tuesday night. <laughs> Tuesday night, the tenth. 
It's Monday. Monday. June 26th. <laughs> Tuesday night will all be Jesus happy. Jesus Christ. Monday. That was crazy wrong. Oh, you know what? I'm, re- I'm reading the June other June 10th thing. is over. Yeah. Been over. What's <laughs> that? Was the day you met that guy? What is that other thing you know? <laughs> that was you and oh, Sergey's uh, <laughs> fucking anniversary. Never forget that day <laughs> ever. Oh, no, that's your that's your other thing. Six John, ten for six one. fat. Dan Soder, of course, you can catch him out and about not doing radio. <laughs> yeah, really? AndyFiori.com. <laughs> Andy Fiori on all social media. And Carmen, again, taping her special this coming Monday, June 26th at 8 and 10 p.m. at the Comedy Cellar in New York City. For tickets, go to CarmenLynch.com. She's absolutely hilarious. Go. Follow her awesome. on Instagram and TikTok, at Carmen Comedian. <laughs> and also the Human Centipod with Carmen Lynch and John Reynolds is every Tuesday at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Eastern on She's So Funny. Or you can listen when you want on the SiriusXM app. Search She's So Funny, the Human Centipod. Carmen, good luck and thank you. Yeah. Thank uh, you, so guys. Much for Make sure you here. check Hard out Big J Comedy, his new special, Dog, dog Bellies, bellies on out YouTube. there, and Kill Box with yeah. Bobby. Yeah, and uh, I'll be, be touring on... also. Mm. He'll be on full. Uh, what? I just got to do it, dude. I'm in the room. I'm in the room, baby. What is it? She's trying to give. BigJComedy.com, to... fully loaded. Yeah. Uh, an incredible. Look, who's tour. Doing Robert Kelly Live. Robert Kelly Live.com. Robert Kelly Live.com. Hey. Dan Robert Soda.com. Kelly yeah, Dan Soda.com. Oh, Stanford, Jacob. Connecticut. I'll be at New York. Guys, no kidding. Dan's back, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the <laughs> week. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, Jacob, your thoughts? It's entirety. What? Listen to Dog Belly in its entirety tonight on Raw Dog at 10 p.m. Eastern. Jacob was here the whole time? Jacob's He's in Florida. Right here. He's in Florida. Oh, okay. here the whole time. He was whacking off off camera to all that gay porn we were playing. Uh, we talked a little daytime evil today, too. Oh, my God. Day um, evil. And then uh, Bobby yeah. went on to say, nothing sucks more than doing comedy while the sun's still out, which I'm going to have to do a lot this summer. Uh, so I did it a lot that. this weekend. <laughs> wow. Um, Dan, thank you so much. Uh, Andy, thank you love so much. You Carmen, congratulations. Guys. Good thank luck. You guys, Make sure you go check it out. Thank you. And uh, we'll catch you guys next week right here on The Bonfire. He said you do as your heart spins You gotta love as you like yeah Gotta love as you go How many times did I again tell you you know I always love to love to gotta love